everybody. Extrema, the whole point of this 15 minutes loading part is so there's a couple of people watching the tank intro video <laughs> we uh we have on this channel no actually it it puts me into the mood uh, mood i listen to the music as well and i you know load all the programs i need for uh the stream and yeah basically just getting ready that that's what uh what it is for let's say hi to everybody and then have a look at the plan for today which could be interesting if it works if it doesn't well there will be an explosion that is for sure we have bjorn gutschke line court abby sleeper sierra charlie olaf cool mech nebulous raf meli russell lauer grams gaming kazal kazoon infectious xjx short gold pm avram alien Va uh, virus virus is here uh oh Sikinos, uh, Nier's World, Commander Cotton Fluff, Captain Brumbear, Fonsui, uh, Rasheru, Edelid, Eve Dobra, Shalsindar, e Evo Hans, Mercury Trooper, Katie Eve Hevis, K Chaosra, Extrema, and Red Knight just waving in chat. Sikinos, your game is up. Oh, it, it was. It's already run. Perfect. What language you used for the hacking game? Uh, the one uh, you saw yesterday? That's all, um, well, on the back end, it's Java. On the front end, it's some JavaScript, HTML, CSS. You know, that kind of stuff. Which, you know, but the skills originate from uh, from uh, what I work, basically. Can also do it at home, apparently. Okay, so I hope you're fine. We are still confined to our quarters, right? We don't even have captain's quarters anymore. <laughs> Not sure why I just said that, but stay safe everybody and uh play games these days and you know th there's always people other people playing uh especially mmos if you're bored you need to talk you will always find somebody in there and uh, especially if there is uh for example bro cost for reps uh if you need somebody to talk to for example and uh well there's always there's always a lot of discords with streamers as well so just you know Ping people if you need to talk. And I do understand that this is a very lonely time for some of us. And uh, yeah, that sucks a lot. Some of us are coping easier with that. Uh, some of us, not that much. I miss my parents, for example. I can't, well, you know, we have Skype and and uh, WhatsApp, but that's it. They can't visit their, their grandchildren right now, uh, which especially sucks because, you know, they are making huge progress pretty much every day, uh, something new happens or can be witnessed and uh well we'll have to wait until this crap is over so let's make the best out of it cheers miss audrey uh glad you like the music i have uh i can give you the the link for the playlist if you if you like so today it is small emotions with the uh dreamy um mood there's that your parents are in the same situation dang extrema Russell made the mistake of buying The Witcher 3 with both data discs on sale, okay. And you have no problem <laughs> not leaving the flat unless for work. There you go, uh, Russell. I can fortunately still work at home. And uh, in probably a few days from now, there's also going to be short time at work and then I will have more time for what we're doing here. Um, so stay tuned. Carbon Fly, greetings to you. Um, there was some comment on YouTube a while ago. Well, actually, just... No, not not true. There was somebody uh, who contacted me in Discord because of uh, a video on YouTube. He saw and said, uh, well, basically, your fit sucks, but or you can do it much better. And then we, we started discussing a little bit, and this person gave me a, a Gila fit, which looks very interesting. Um... I have no sh no real clue if this if this is gonna work, but if it works, it's it's a tank cheap, um, little little boat, um, and if it doesn't work, well, it's gonna be a tank cheap explosion. That's uh that's kind of the plan. I made some modification to make it even cheaper and uh, adapt to my playstyle or to my fears in the abyss a little bit. And it is it is a gila. I'm gonna pop this up, and Fonso is probably gonna be like either. Oh my god, uh, what kind of crap is that? Or, hmm, yeah, I, I did that before and it doesn't work, or something like that. But let's have a look anyway, you know. 
for for us uh simple minds let's put it like that rally <laughs> greetings right pronunciation is Hila. i i remember like right uh, let, let's call it Hila. and uh, there it is so the, the the kind of significant thing i would say is the fact that we are using two shield boosters instead of just one um of one big one the big one wouldn't fit because of cpu requirements but the two small ones apparently kind of um fit there's two involves tech two we have an afterburner to make it quick don't know the baron thanks for the 100 bits uh we'll put that back into the channel for sure maybe we'll uh you know um where's the word shit uh oh my gosh i have a blackout guys Maybe we'll commission some more uh, toilet paper emotes, because why not, right? <laughs> and, uh, well, to drive the whole thing, there's a battery. I mm, kind of downsized this to a uh, compact, a large compact one from, from the faction battery. I s believe I will still be kind of stable in the electrical, so this setup is meant to be uh, uh, run in an electrical. And the lows we have two drone damage amplifiers at damage control too maybe the damage is a bit on the lower end but since you know electrical sites don't really have uh, additional armor additional uh, shield i'm okay with it for for now i would say uh then there is uh, the modification i made to the to the high slots <clears throat> at the beginning these were tech twos uh with well, obviously Tech 2 missiles, but I couldn't fit the, uh, the Drone Link Augmenter. And there's one situation in the Abyss you really don't want to get into as a Gila, and that is uh, Lesh Axe, Blinding Lesh Axe. Um, and you're out of range, so you can't send your drones. Um, and that's that's really bad. So if they are further away than 60 kilometers, you're basically screwed um, if there's Blinding Lesh Axe. Because at some point, once they locked you up, you can't target them anymore. You have to go close and most likely close enough so the, the other Lesh Axe hit you hard. Or, God forbid, even uh, even some neuters are going to suck your cap dry. So there there is no way I'm not, not using this module. That's why I had to make the uh, launcher kind of downgrades. Also, I did modify the rigs a little bit to have, I believe, another auxiliary thruster here to make the ship a bit faster to reduce, you know, the uh incoming damage from big hitters that is kind of uh, the plan um the fit is not uploaded yet melly we will finish this up with a little you know some missiles and uh, some boosters maybe could even think about implants because look at this let's buy this how much is this in uh, for real so this is 331 million it's not even 350 million uh, at the moment um so we we have some wiggle room to put in maybe even um, implants as well. Extrema says he usually immediately deploys drones in the Leshak room and they uh, go auto attack. They only do that if the Leshaks are within your drone control range and without that module I just uh, offlined. This is 60 kilometers and I have seen rooms where these fuckers sat at 80 and there's no way your drones are going to do anything until you are actually going to be in, in the correct range for that. And uh, I'm not sure, once they shoot you and you launch drones after, your drones won't do anything either anymore. I'm not, not so sure. So you didn't encounter that. It's very rare, but it, if, if it happens with the right combination of flash axe, that's just the end of the ship if you don't know, you know. Well, if you either don't know how this works or you didn't bring a drone link, uh, oh, matter. Okay, so I believe I will need more drones, obviously. Uh, let's go with some Imperial Navy, a second batch. Actually, I, I will just go to two flights each. That should be fine. Two Tech 2 drones and two um, Navy drones for, you know, battle cruiser situations or when we need a bit better tracking. On top of that, uh, well, we have a hard shell, we have the uh, blue pill, and I certainly need some more of these because that's my main ammo. I, Due to the fact that I'm not using Tech 2 launchers, I have less DPS, but I, ha I will use faction missiles instead, right? And that makes them go a bit further. Therefore, maybe I'm not going to lose that much DPS in total because I, I can start shoot uh, shooting a bit earlier, right? But we'll see how that works. I believe I have a total of... Uh, well, let's just see. How much DPS do I have? Let's bring 1,500 of these. So 
It appears I have 581 DPS cold. But most of the time I will not have any range issues at all. Hello Rock, no, good afternoon. Most DPS will be from drones anyway, that is true, right? I mean, I would get 600 plus if I had the tech 2 launchers, but uh, I, I'd rather stay safe with this uh, drone link augmenter there. Um, for sure. Okay, we need some paste, and uh, maybe there's some, some implants that are going to be interesting as well. Hello, Sconex, good afternoon. And here we go. Mm, let's call this 150, 150 paste. So th this the difference between the Will It Blend streams and this one here is that I'm going to... This is not meant to die. So Will It Blend vessels, they are dying eventually. And this one here is not meant to die. If it works. That's, that's the point. Um... Paste. What kind of implants could help? Which which are cheap? I mean, is there there is no cheap drone implants, is there? I highly doubt it. Let's check. Slot six. 128 mil, that's not cheap. 39? What does that do? Overmind Hawk Moth drone tuner. Is that new? Increases the speed of drones at the expense of their defense system. <clears throat> uh, expense of their defense systems. Mm, I don't really want that. Faster drones usually suck at tracking a bit more. You want to bring more missiles? Ah, uh, Tricon. I know that in uh, Gila, you usually run like 300 per site uh, with your rapid lights. I know that because I run them a shit ton of times. The uh, situation where I run out of missiles was, I believe, in a Caracal, or was it? Yeah, it was a Caracal Navy issue, right? It was just, you know, I'm not used to that amount of, or used to be, used to have rapid lights as the main source of damage. That obviously, obviously changes things um, quite a bit. Okay, so this is nothing, and then we have 250 mil and yellow jacket for. Th Whoa. Who who in the right mind is gonna use an implant that costs three point three billion isk, really? I wouldn't. Oh a super pilot. Okay, that could make sense. Extrema. Right. It doesn't make sense subcapital, right? That's what I'm trying to say. That's pretty much my my world. Now, uh what else can we do? Missile implants are not really gonna cut it. If we have one percent more DPS there, that's that's not really gonna do it. So I wonder what we can do with shield. Shield upgrades does what? Reduces the shield power needs. Okay, mm, not really interested. Shield management the gnome, what does that do? 1% shield capacity doesn't really interest me either. Shield emission systems, that sounds like remote reps. What is shield operation there? Shield recharge rate uh, increased. Nah, it's not worth it. Mm, maybe some kind of navigation implant though, you know, so the ship is a bit faster. That that could help in general to have shorter um, times in the uh, stages and, you know, more options to do some uh, angular velocity. So let's see. What is that one? 1% 1 bonus to micro or drive an afterburner speed increase. How much is a... Okay, I think we can we can get 2% here for 9 million. That sounds good. And what is this? Afterburner? Oh, no, wait, that's slot 6 as well. Oh, that was... was oh, shit. That was probably the better... Oh, no, that's duration of the afterburner. Uh, not really... Not really a fan of that. What's this one? Two percent bonus to ship velocity. Well, we can't fit them all, so I'll just get the uh, the one I already put. And then there is evasive maneuvering. That's not what we need. Uh, fuel conservation. Nah, not really. High speed maneuvering. Is that some micro warp drive thingy thing? Yeah, micro warp drive stuff. Okay, mm, I think that's it. I will not put more implants in. They are just a waste of money, I guess. And hello, Gestürzen TV. He is in his home office basement. Man cave, cheers. Marvin, greetings to you as well. Okay, I think that's it. Mm. We have a blue pill. So all the tank swallowed plus hot, we can run 600 plus EHP a second. 
which is a bit tight uh, with all swallowed because without it's like 450 uh, it's gonna be interesting but we'll see how that uh, turns out in uh, electrical abyss so let's save this uh, I'll call it home for now right wait I have 250 fittings now this is so bad <laughs> Okay, let's delete it and save it again. Put it up for link my fit so you can investigate. That did not work. Why did that? Oh, how about if you, if I copy the clipboard first? Here we go. Exclamation mark fit is pointing to this one now. We don't know if it's going to work. This is a kind of the plan for today to see if this lives and for how long it, it does live guarab online greetings to you as well okay so we are looking at 353 million isk of an invest that is fair enough and for a gila this is really cheap it is obviously it is for sure not going to work if you don't have max skills with pretty much everything you run here so this is not going to be alpha compatible at all. Well, maybe as an alpha you can run tier 3s with that. Maybe. I have no clue. But I am attempting a tier 5. I will just go with tier 5s right away because that's that's what has to be tested here with this vessel. All right, where is it? We have a Gila somewhere. Can't see there. Oh, the hum vessel. plug in that one why can't I plug in that one did I not oh shit oh no wait this is correct I seem to have some kind of supposed to be empty clone now it is empty now we are plugging that in and I need to train one more level of this clone stuff so I have 10 clones available 9 is, is tight uh, Raya greetings good afternoon do we have the abyssal afterglow skin for the gila well, we, we can make it look amazing, that's for sure. Uh, do I have the afterglow? That's the red one, right? Uh, oh, no, actually not the afterglow, but I have the dark field. And we will, you know, it's going to be electricals. And dark field is looks amazing in electricals. Obviously, the invest here is not just the ship. We have to get some electrical uh, filaments and they are not the cheapest and personally i don't i'm not a fan of running electricals for for money because just to go there you have to pay 21 mil which which sucks a lot and uh you know getting more than that out of this without opening up all the containers is kind of you know may, maybe you will get it average or a bit more but it sucks it really sucks that's what i'm trying to say all right here we go what else oh man i feel this is gonna hurt but uh i also feel like maybe there's a chance we can actually make this work what's my afterburner hot almost a, a, a 1000 meters a second Ooh. okay let's let's see what we can do the dark field skin where is that one from i think from the shop no where's the dark field from Oh, where can I see that? Show info. Yeah, it's ap apparently you can... You can totally buy it from the store. Yeah, Gila Abyssal Darkfield for 390 plex. I think I got it gifted, though. Hmm, bad. I'm bad at remembering these things. But here we go. That is a freaking cheap Gila. And... Well, let's just see what happens. The skin is 1.3 billion in Cheetah. Is that is that a good price? Guys, if you buy skins, always check um the Plex price first. Because if the, the skin is available in the Plex uh in the New Eaton store, it is usually cheaper to buy the Plex in game and use the Plex to buy it in the store. Uh, you know, other than the, the other way around uh, okay we do this uh, da, da, da. all right I cannot really I have a lot of active mid slots that's kind of what's scary 
for me here, I believe. So I can't really just heat everything all the time. That is going to be it's going to hurt a lot. My plan kind of is to heat just the invulns as much as possible. And if there is any need for more tank, I will first go with uh, with the boosters. The person who gave me that fit was was like, you know, the boosters are kind of essential, so you should just use them all the time. But I'll just use them when I think I have to. We'll see how that works. Well, that's kind of a coincidence, Marvin, though. Most of the time, when I buy skins, I totally do uh, do the Plex way first. Um, it usually is like 20% cheaper. But, you know, check. That's what I'm talking. Just check it before you commit either way. So you got it uh, the cheapest way possible. And now... Well, yeah, well, let's, uh, let's group drones, maybe. Although, well, I can actually do that throughout this, uh, during the site. Yeah, good luck is, is uh, the right way to, to put this. It could be over super quickly. Uh, if that happens, I'll probably just farm back the money I lost here um, with the Tier 5 Firestorm Longfinger set up, but, you know, we're not dead yet, so... Let's have a look. First stage. Oh, first stage is going to be a test for our tank, that is for sure. It's gonna hurt like hell. I feel like tempted or not tempted. What's the right word? I, I I'm pretty sure I have to kill these vet max. Uh, first, I cannot let uh, let them ramp up. I will. I even believe I'll have to use uh, some heat on my boosters pretty pretty sh uh, quickly. But let's see. This is a good test for for the tank. Kind of. Let's turn on the second booster just to get a feel of what, what these two boosters do. Uh, can they keep up with the damage or or is that not a thing? So far, they are just keeping up, but you can see the ramp up already started and uh, things are getting uh, quite a bit hairy very, very soon, I believe. So there is no way we, we will not, you know, uh, use heat in, in these kind of rooms. Although it seems like as long as it's just three of them, we might be getting away with it. Didn't heed anything yet. One of the drones is attacked by an anchoring. Oh, Damovic, since my drones are um, armored tanks, I'm not really worried too much. The drugs are going to make, uh, an, ama make an amazing difference. Uh, I didn't launch or use them yet. Um, they will add another 25% tank, which is uh, which is pretty good. I believe I can even get away without heating at all with this room, which makes me kind of confident a little bit that this could work in terms of these kind of um, high DPS spawns. I am in a tracking pile, and that is correct, yes. So these guys are applying the damage, that's for sure. I was not out tracking them a single time. Obviously, my drones were hitting a bit better as well, so... That is good. I will move to the gate once uh, once I'm done with the uh, her heroing vet mag. As long as there's heroing vet mags, I kind of try to orbit them. Sometimes, oh, you can see it just missed. So sometimes these guys are actually missing. Like right now, uh, he missed at least twice, which is uh, which is pretty cool. Once that guy's dead, I will then move on to the uh, bioadaptive cache. And there he goes down. Uh, I do a quick reset of my drones. So the aggro is is back on my ship, and then uh, they will be even faster without anchoring Damovix on, you know, in their faces. That is okay. I seem to be cap stable with uh, with both um, boosters on as well. Sonda Poston, good afternoon. How's it going? Hey, you fellow! Just uh, see you coming in there. And so far, it appears to be fairly chill. I mean, if there would have been one or two starvers, I would most likely have uh, heated my invulns to save a little bit on uh, on cap there. I do not have a workbench profile, uh, Commander Cotton Fluff. Exclamation mark fit points to the current fit. And uh, 
soon TM we will have all the Earth fits there as well available. Good afternoon, Neddy, Quas, Pepkern. Good morning to you. Let's actually send one drone to the uh, cache here. Reload the uh, the missiles. Get the loot. I want to add this to my overview here. Boom. Fonsui has a workbench, that's for sure. And Fonsui has uh, amazing uh, sets of fits there. And we got, oh wow, we got a specialization skill book. 48 mil, holy crap. That's not too bad. I wish I got that like a couple of months ago. <laughs> Alright, stage number one was fairly okay. Took a bit long though for it just to be uh, Triglavian vessels. Hmm, interesting. What do you mean, middle finger? Cheers, Ayuf. Mm. Oh, the long finger fit is in the in-game channel, Commander Confluff. Oh, wow. Oh, I shouldn't have wished for. I just got what I wished for, guys. <laughs> Holy crap. This is going to be the test uh, for sure. We have to kill these so freaking quickly. I'm even going to heat my weapons because I'm a little scared. And I'm definitely going to heat the uh, the inbounds now. Um, and I'm, yeah, I'm fairly certain I want to consume these. Yeah, let's just consume these since we have them anyway, right? So three starvers. <laughs> this is pretty much. Oh, this is pretty much worst case scenario here, guys. This is pretty much it. Ouch! This is gonna be interesting, right? Oh man, maybe I'm gonna die here right away. Look at this. The damage is real. Uh, first starver is hitting structure. Whoa. We're nowhere near done with this shit. Let's let's try the second one. I'm still heating my weaponry here. Uh, my capacitor is slowly uh, being reduced here. I just hope my drones are not getting bothered by any kind of uh, tangler. Oh, actually, they are. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, there's no not much I can do right now. I'll just have to, you know, let them shoot if they can shoot and kill this. Uh, guys super quickly. Now I'm gonna stop one of the shield boosters to make sure my cap can still regenerate at a kind of okay-ish uh, uh, point there at 30%. Now let's kill uh, the last uh, starver. Once that one is done, we, we should be we should be fine. Oof. This is harsh. This is a but this is pretty much worst case scenario here. Uh, let's cycle. Let's factor in one of the cycles here. The hiring vet mac obviously is also um, kind of ramping up damage. I'm not pulling my drones right now. Okay, I have to turn on the second shield booster, otherwise this is not going to end well. Uh, the, the, the thing that is really problematic is that one of my drones is being whipped right now by a tangler. That's why it's not applying damage perfectly, right? That is pretty, pretty shitty. Okay, well, well, but I'm recovering now. I need to stop the heat, though, otherwise I will burn out uh, stuff. Okay, so, whoa, that was one hell of a stage, wasn't it? But I think uh, we're out of the woods there, uh, right? We should be kind of uh, be out of the woods with this one. That was an interesting experience. So I, I love the fact that I got this kind of room right away. This was really good. Uh, I think I can start repairing uh, some of my stuff here. So the big problems are gone, and now I'm going to kill the Tangler next just to make sure my drones are no longer um, bogged with this guy. Okay. And I feel like, yeah, let's repair these as well. What else? Gonna repair the afterburner uh, too. Hope I didn't burn out my battery. That would be really bad. No, I didn't. Beautiful. Okay, let's repair everything. That was, that was pretty stressful. I think what I want to do is uh, I want to bring a strong blue pill instead next time to have a bit more, you know, wiggle room, right? Double renewing, double starving Leshak is not a problem, Commander Cotton Fluff. I can totally just keep range with this. The balls game is stuck, really, is it? Kazal Kazoon, are you there? Your game is up if you don't know how it works. Ask, we will help you out. Oh, you, you did change your, your stream. 
or your your Twitch name there there Eurozone Esports. Cheers. <laughs> You're welcome. No worries. Okay, repair. Uh, what else? Repair. No, everything else has to be repaired now. Let's get the shield back as well. Drones get back in. Repair here, repair there. Whoa, that was a lot of pace. How much pace did I just... I'll have to wait for, for the repairs to complete to see that, right? That was interesting, but uh, really cool to see how the fit uh, performed in this situation. Whoa, 53 mil and the Rotiva blueprint. Not even bad, I would say. Oh, there we go. Cheers. You have two different accounts. I see. Streamer stores. So you ended up streaming quite some long, uh, quite long time. Yeah, I did not try to shave. Um, dress. I was just too lazy this morning. No, actually, I was late. <laughs> so I, I just, I went to work, right? <laughs> so I basically stood up, took a shower, and then sat down at this very chair and did the work. Amazing stuff, uh, streamer stores. Good to know. So I'm waiting for my uh, repairs here to complete. Oh, actually the shield booster is done. I did get a penalty, but it was only a shield capacity one. So uh, that is fine. I wonder how it would have played out if I got the uh, capacitor penalty though. That could have sucked. My, yeah, my commute is rough normal, right? <laughs> Holy crap. You, you don't know if you could do it? Yeah, thing. Uh, you know, the thing is, my bed is just one meter from here, so I can basically just roll my chair over and drop in there. <laughs> okay, stage number... Which one? Three? Ah, we, stage number three. Okay, so what's happening in stage number three? Oh, that is pretty much not very interesting, I would say. There's not much going to happen here. Other than, well, my drones are not going to like this. So I'm, I'm actually running uh, faction drones here, so I don't have to pull them right away when they get some, some aggro. One of my shield boosters I will keep on to just see how much that, uh, that works. So Kazal Kazoon is not here. We're going to quit his balls game, right? Can we do that? Yep, there we go. Welcome back. Balls game. Alright, this is quite a little bit of damage. Oh, my, my afterburner is off. Hmm, that's maybe why. <laughs> and there is a, a tracking tower nearby, so... I'll just turn on the second shield booster and see if it's going to be enough, or if there's some heat required. Whoa, there's some heavy hits. I wonder where they're coming from, actually. I mean... Two Lancers are not that hilarious. I'm gonna heat my, my invulns again, because I just want to have it a bit more chill. And I'm gonna remove the Lancers next, because those are the ones potentially doing the most damage. Uh, yeah, the, the others are just doing like little little amount. Lancers are really the big, the big issues. I'm gonna turn off the heat already, I believe. Could be good. Man, this is totally going to work way better once the uh, shield um, rebalance patch is in because we will have 8% more resistances with the Invuln 2s and that's probably going to cut it. So I don't have to heat that much, but we'll see. Oh, you yeah, you missed you missed the, the minigame, Kazal Kazoon. You should have gotten a whisper from Earthspot telling you to play your game, but it's okay. Uh, we, we skipped it. Because there were people in the queue. I'm not sure when this patch is going to be. It's currently already on the uh, on the test server. Uh, no. Um, well, there was Hobo Leaks, so they rolled out the patch to the test server. I'm not sure if Sizzy is online, though. It was not a, a few days ago, so... No worries, Ayuf. I feel like that every day. But we have to, you know do the hard decisions there. <laughs> Incoming video alert. What are you going to link there? Oh my gosh. Do I... No, I probably... Do I click this? Helen Mirren teaches acting. Oh no, wait, what? That's, that's an ad. Yeah, 
this is uh, good stuff. <laughs> Tris, <laughs> sit back down. <laughs> we could play that as the skins video, right? It's epic. Yeah, it looks like it. You said it's going to be 8% only for the tier 2 invulns. Uh, all invulns get some kind of modifications and buffs. I am I know for the tier 2 it's 8.3% or something. Fonso mentioned it. Yeah, my eyes too. Gambus. Uh, that was that was a Driss experience there. This is a tier 5 rally, yes. And we, we are trying to find out if the 350 million fit here is actually something viable given you have max skills and know what you're doing so this is not a will it blend uh, stream this is a stream where we are serious about this we want to keep this alive to prove it is possible to run tier 5 abyssals like consistently without dying obviously um in a super cheap vessel. Although I'm not, I feel like really the DPS is a problem at some point here. We'll see though. <laughs> Cheers, Driss. <laughs> All right, let's get the loot. I mean, I have five minutes left here, but still with battleship spawn or two, oh, that could be shitty. But oh well, we, we don't know. We, we'll find out today, right? Let's get the loot next. Let it be good. Okay, that one is, is sad, but uh, the first two stages provided a really nice amount of loot. Wait, was that more than 100 mil? How much did we... It, wow, it was. Plus the Rediva blueprint, although that one is probably cheap. Hmm, that means we'll have to do a giveaway. I didn't expect that, but, you know. We can do it. Shall we? Red Knight, what is pretty cool. Cheers, how's it going? Good afternoon. Or you morning. One more time and I'm or evening. You Wherever you are. Be Welder, 87, thanks for the follow. And welcome to the channel. Rams Gaming, also blocking bulls. We can totally fix that, I think. There we go. And hello, Zentini. Good afternoon. To you as well. For me, it's afternoon, so let's stick with that. Okay, first one. Check. And what do we wrap? We will just do a gank, guys. If you haven't spoken since you started watching, do it now. There will be a, a little um, giveaway thing, uh, which the bot is required to know that you're here and if you didn't speak yet the bot doesn't know you're here so speak up you've never seen uh abyssals red knight did you have a break from eve because that content is available for like one and one and a half years i think lurker's gonna lurk that's perfectly fine just you know say something when you start watching or whisper earth spot same same effect All right, then we have some loot. This is kind of a third of my fit cost here already. That's pretty good. Maybe if the ship dies, I won't have to farm um, for it. Okay, boosters are still in. The penalty is okay. I can live with that. But I need a few more uh, nanites here. Johnny, UK is here. Cheers. Ah, uh, just for the giveaways, though. How are you doing, Johnny? Guys, drop a follow. Johnny UK is a streamer as well. And now, a uh, chicken noodle soup is amazing. It is, Miss Audrey. It is. Oh, you were you were in Eve three years ago, and you just got back online. There you go. Cheers. Um, so what you're seeing here, Red Knight, is not exactly the way you want to run these sites. Uh, usually, you uh, use ships that are ten times the amount I'm running here. Uh, at the moment because I want to prove if this is possible to have tier 5s consistently run with uh, just a 350 million vessel but we will find out now it is time for the gank though best of luck everybody there it is open you don't have to do anything right now just watch the screen and once you win you need to speak up 
you do that one more time and I'm gonna throw you across the room. Crypto and thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. And here is the team with Eurozone Esports as its FC. Whoa, Fonso, you almost hit the main price there, which is 100 mil. There is a container. If somebody lands on that one, we will open up a loot box for that person. But, whoa, guys, that's so sad. I didn't even have to start my giveaway client. Nobody won a thing except for two speed buffs. Let's have a quick look over here. <laughs> There's no need for loot boxes, but Virus and Avis Leaper got a speed buff. That's all there is. We'll do it again. Uh, if we have some nice situation or, or loot or whatever. So stay tuned. Okay. Let's repair. Oh, the ship. Do I have everything? Missiles, paste, boosters are in. I need a another... Chaotic electrical filament. There we go. 21 mil. That's just so expensive. Oh, shit. I actually got one from the last run. There was no need to buy. Oh, well. Whatever. Okay. Tier 5. Take 2. With the 350 million gila. It is a very manual fit. And uh, you have to, to obviously uh, heat a lot. And the boosters have to be on point. I don't think I can survive this with a 50% uh, 15% capacitor penalty. Although the thing, you know, the thing is with this, mm, I even downgraded the initial fit. So what we could do, we could actually totally go for a uh, Republic Fleet Large battery here, which would make this less dangerous. Um, what else could we do? Yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Okay, Driss is posting the link again. Oh, dang. Red Knight, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and welcome back to Eve. Again. I'm just trying to load whatever. Oh my gosh, okay. Driss, enjoy your drink. <laughs> I will enjoy my next tier 5 in uh, this little vessel. We have yet to confirm if it's going to be consistent or not. So let me group up drones now. These are infiltrator group one, group two, and we have navy infil infiltrator um, one and two. Call them I and I's for reasons, right? Okay. Let's go in. I have a feeling if this if I will die to incoming damage, I will try it again once the shields uh, shield rebalance is in because I believe that's gonna really give it the uh, the notch needed to to just be consistent. But we'll see. Maybe even this one survives. Well, that one is gonna take a shit ton of time. This this is bad. Uh, so let's launch our infiltrators right away. We have to start shooting them so fast. And I'm actually using my afterburner hot so I can get in range for my uh, rapid lights as fast as possible to support um, killing the battleships. This here is, is a problem for this ship. My ship is not very, like... Oh, having a lot of DPS. Okay, I can't use the, the missiles right now, though, because... There is a short-range tower right on top of me, so I have to wait until I'm a bit closer there and can then deal some damage. Hello, brutal but unfair. Good afternoon. Tank is on. We, we will not use the tank in just a moment anymore because we will just uh, out-track these guys. Okay. Now, I'm even going to heat my my uh, rapid lights here because I'm, I'm worried about the timer. This could really mess with us. Actually, let's get pelled up and see how much DPS we really do. The name of the in-game channel is called Urshlox. I'm writing us on Twitch. Um, Let's get this here. Why do I not see it on screen? DPS. There it is. All right. 
Let's just hang out around these guys. I hope the stage is not going to be more than six minutes, if it is. This is a sketchy thing here. So I will, I will actually start wrapping my stuff uh, because, yeah, I have the time right now. Oh shit, okay. Miss the hot missiles kind of stopped because I was starting to wrap. Doesn't matter though, it's okay. I don't need them hot anymore. We will wrap them as soon as the reload starts. As well, did I hurt any passives? Yes, I did, okay. Here we go. Drones are on it. And as soon as the repair starts, uh, the, the reload starts, I will repair the rapid lights. This is pretty much how you want to run the rapid lights anyway. If you are in a situation where you don't have enough or not a lot of DPS, <laughs> just run them hot and uh, start repairs while they reload because, you know, reload takes a long time and uh, usually you can repair them to, I don't know, for about 60% or something. Oh, exclamation mark DPS. Oh, Sekinos was quicker. Hello, H. Blad. Good afternoon. All right, the second deep watcher is about to go down, which is uh, which is good. I think we are not even that bad. Three minutes in, this should actually work, I believe. Reload is complete. Cancel repair. Let's go on. Oh shit! I'm shooting the wrong guy. Ah oh, well, the drones are finishing up the other one. You don't really want to split drones actually between all these two because they do uh, have some repairs as well and then if you split drones you obviously will lose some DPS. Now I, I'm i gonna try to run without afterburner here just to see if I can repair um, and I also want to get the loot over there obviously. I want to be able to jump as soon as uh, uh, the battleship dies there. The balls game is stuck again. Pep current. Dang, everybody's leaving. How is that even possible? Here we go. I need to add that auto run feature, right? <laughs> oh, shit. Y you were backed up for like 20 minutes. Oh, man. Okay. Tikinos, yours is up now. Are you there, Sikinos? Alright, I think I'm gonna stop this. Shoot, the, I should have shot the loot a bit earlier. But this is good. Um, This is good. I'm not even five minutes in. And the battleships... This is pretty much the biggest kind of... Uh, EHP pool there is, these three guys. I killed them in, in a bit more than five minutes. That's pretty good. Alright, the loot is bad, but that's okay. We're not here for the loot right now. That's just a bonus, right? So the timer says I'm in for... Wait, I'm in for five minutes in three, two, one, now. This is amazing. Alrighty then. I'm not worried too much about DPS anymore. Interesting, really. Hmm. JC Kirk, hello. Good afternoon. There is no auto run, Ayuf. In fact, it, it only th threatens that. The bot is threatening that. Abby Sleeper, your game's up. And what is this? This is uh, Entangler, Upholder. Uh, I think it's going to hurt a bit. I don't really want to end up in the blue cloud. Um, Which ships are faster here? Okay, let's go with this. Uh, the Null Warp are not really going to hurt. The Lancer will hurt, and the uh, Watchman will hurt. That is what I know. I'm, I'm lazy, that's why I turn on both uh, shield boosters right now. I just want to re-chat. Uh, Bobo Madman, greetings. The big winner from yesterday. Did you spend that money already? <laughs> How's it going? All right, wonderful. We got the second upholder sh uh, being shot at now. I think I'll actually just dive in on the loot now. Mm, the drones are getting hit by the two null warp cruisers, but I don't care right now. 
is the second stage already. I have two sets of uh, Tech 2s. We should be good. It's going to be a fairly quick stage as well, I believe. Uh, I think I can even let leave the uh, the damage uh, sources up and I will kill the, the Null Warp Cruisers next to relieve the uh, pressure on my drones. You got a link to this fit. Exclamation mark fit. Oh, this is new, brutal but unfair. I th This fit is not up yet because... We have to prove it works in any situation. And we had some sketchy uh, situation already with the uh, first and second stage of the first uh, um, run today. But it, it worked. I mean, it didn't die. Didn't even hit armor, right? <laughs> you shouldn't really hit armor with these fits. Uh, that would be way too dangerous. Oh, we got a tower, which is a medium range, though, so that's fine. Let's kill the second drifter in just a moment. My drones are having a hard time with that one. Alright. Um, exclamation mark fit, brutal but unfair. Just hit that command. I will give you a link. During streams, you will usually see what I'm running right there. Exclamation mark fish. Doesn't exist, but we have a fish emote, uh, spot domain, so gotcha covered. Okay, this looks very, very chill. Let's open up the loot. <laughs> Cheers, short will. What did we get this time? I wonder if I can farm uh, the amount of isk. I paid for the ship during this stream. 17 million, okay, slowly. <laughs> Maybe. Oh shit, my infiltrator is not happy there. But I don't really care much. We have one more stage to survive and I have a fresh group of infiltrator tools. Well, kind of fresh. Still in my cargo. Exclamation mark CP uh, DPS Zentini. Driz, your game is up. Hope you know how to guess. I should have stopped my boosters a bit earlier to uh, get back on my feet in terms of capacitor. Thing is, I can still fix it, I believe. Exclamation mark. Uh, balls is uh, the explanation, Lion Court. Driz is waiting for someone to tell him the numbers one. <laughs> Red Knight says 2-3. You probably don't want to put a space in between, though. That, that wouldn't work. Mercury Trooper has another idea. 0-3, oh, yeah, that looks better, I would say. 0-3 oh, could be it, but who knows, right? I'm not good at this. Let's jump. 69? That's not even a thing. Hey, you've... <laughs> you have to not put a space in between the numbers. Oh, dress. Okay, this is going to hurt. This is actually interesting. I wonder how much this is going to hurt. Mm. I want to just remove a lot of these small guys as quickly as possible. As soon as they are in range, I will start shooting my missiles as well. Ah, crap, there's fog casters in the mix, so my, my range is reduced. I think I can kite them quite a bit until they, you know, start... Posing a threat, actually. What's my range now? 39 kilometers. And plummeting. I think the bot is not messaging if you sent something wrong, right? I'm not sure about it, though. Okay. Uh, oof. That turn was probably wrong. Okay, I will get hit now in the face. But I already killed a couple of them, so maybe the tank is just going to hold easily. We'll see how that works. Yeah, I think this is easy. Is an easy stage. I can even go to the loot now, I believe. Let's just go over there. Red Knight, the Red Knight told you, you the wrong numbers? Driz? <laughs> Serves you right. No, nobody tell Dres the right numbers, guys. 
I mean, Red Knight, you're the first. You're viewing this stream the, for the first time, right? Today, how how would you possibly know how this works, right? <laughs> oh man, this is so good. Andreas, this is a new guy. Don't be don't be mad at them. Well, I mean, <laughs> still can, right? <laughs> He's gonna kill Red Knight. Okay, we just need his in-game name there. <laughs> Driss, first time player, got owned by another one. Alright, uh, somehow <clears throat> these guys are all super far away, so I'm gonna pull my drones. Actually, I will send them to some close by target next. Alright, that works. Spotlighters go down. Oh, this was way easier than I actually... than I thought, actually. Hmm, interesting. Open up the loot and then maybe kill the fog casters nearby. The others are... Oh, I have missiles, I just realized. Dang. <laughs> so with the speed buff, you can collect points faster in the channel. Um, spot away. And these points are only relevant for when you win. Isk prices because it acts as a multiplier plus the number to the right is uh, indicating the end of the week giveaways isk value kind of all right my drones are getting butchered but oh well we're almost done here right oh shit wait what did not pick up the loot 13 million okay not that great 21 million I paid to get in here and the loot is 44 so I made 23 million hmm. had 111 million with the first one though so can't complain right four people told you different numbers is he uh dress Everybody is trying to mess with you. I wonder. <laughs> Morda, greetings. Good afternoon. So we even have more time this instance. Uh, there is 5 minutes and 40 seconds left. Uh oh, Trace is going to get another video. Just make sure it's like Twitch compatible or something, right? It's like Cheetah in here. Yeah, totally, Red Knight. Everybody's trying to, to scam you, right? <laughs> uh, oh, no, wait. Ooh. <laughs> Nobody in chat said a word. No one said a word. I, I'm i not happy, guys. This is not good. It's not how co-piloting works. I'm just saying, right? Everybody was hoping, hopefully he doesn't notice. Dang. I don't have uh, any other Twitch uh, team than Streamfleet, yeah, Eurozone Esports. Whew, wrong gate. Almost. Let's go. <laughs> Dang. That's the second tier 5 electrical. We're still alive. There was, well, timer worries, but the battleships went down super quickly, so hmm, not really... Not really that uh, worried anymore. Would you be willing to rent out your team that you can create as a partner? I have no clue what that means, Eurozone Esports. And uh, I don't, I believe that is something Twitch is not gonna like. There are probably rules about this, and uh, I'm not gonna endanger my Twitch account with that kind of. Uh, shenanigans that is are the extra cans worth getting in the sites they are solaris if you have a way to get them without dying to the timer and not adding too much time anyway because isk per hour is mainly determined by how many of the main caches you open per you know unit of time there is a, a fit i'm regularly using which uh, has a heavy missile launcher 
and an MTU on board to make that happen. But uh, that fit is a bit more expensive than what I'm running here right now. Um, Commander Cut and Fluff, you have to... Yeah, okay, I think you got it now. There you go. Exclamation mark bolts should explain it quite nicely, actually. Yeah, you missed that one, Commander Confluff. Dang. Whoa. Hey, you f what is that? What are you doing there? Is that your Eve password or what? <laughs> we do not want to know what that is, right? Oh, okay. That's just a Reddit. There's a lot of links today, guys. What the hell? Okay, what's happening there? Oh. Uh, okay. Whoa, don't watch this, guys. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt yourself. Just by watching, I'm telling you. That is his POS password. <laughs> Who knows, right? Uh, I still have... Okay, I have 25 minutes of booster, so I will use that time to go in there again with another electrical filament. I have enough paste. I think, yeah, should be fine. Let's go. Aif is browsing, browsing Reddit on his phone. Oh, okay. It is not an NSFW, uh, Driss. Not it, but it hurts. Okay. But you know, guys, if you link stuff, just just a reminder. You know, stay with, with Twitch toss compatibility, otherwise I will have to to remove that liberty. Hasn't happened so far though, so like three years without any issue. Well some some people are, are like linking to uh where you can buy followers and this kind of shit. That one I have to obviously remove, but that that's not caught back on the linking liberty for everybody. Or freedom? Is it freedom? I don't know. Solaris Shade is working his tier 1 filaments in a hawk on the way to tier 3. Uh, I'm not sure it can run a tier 3 in a hawk though, solo. That would be a problem. Where can I check drone range? Um, If you open up your fitting, um, you should see it in the... Uh, bottom most kind of drop down thingy thingy and uh, it's this one the drone control range right there all right let's go in tier five number three oh h is later there we go halfway through the tunnel you can activate whatever modules you want to activate anyway. So less stress once you're inside. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Um, let's go this way. Uh, null charge entangler. Okay, we have we have two problems. We have entanglers, and we have null charge. This is actually going to be a little bit annoying, I believe. Uh, I think I have to to kill the entanglers first because they are going to mess with me hard otherwise. And I have a feeling like I will need to to heat. Um, my stuff eventually, but we're not there yet, so let's see. I need, I can't afford to, to be wept, kind of, because the battleship is otherwise gonna, gonna eliminate my, my ship here pretty quickly. I need to be able to spike, I'm actually gonna heat my afterburner here, um, with the next cycle to survive the web a bit better. I'll have a bit better angular against the battleship, which, well, it seems to work decently. The problem now, though, is that the neuters are on top of me, so next up the neuters have to die to make sure my capacitor doesn't, you know, run out of juice. Now, I'm still super fast, almost 950 meters a second, spiraling in on the battleship to make sure uh, that guy will not hit me anymore uh, soon, uh, that is. Okay, we're at 32 kilometers. I, I stopped the heat now of my afterburner. We will still spiral in a bit. 
my drones are getting hit left and right, but oh well. I should maybe have tried to pick up the loot. Ah, I don't know. Karen wants to see the manager. Keith the God. Cheers, how's it going? Dres says, uh, what's the best ship to run the tier 3 teams in solo? You want it to be easy. And also big isk. Ah, retribution is... It's kind of shaky. I, I would say tier 3 with a triple Nurgle setup could be really chill. Because uh, I know Loki, while the, the noob is running this in uh, tier 5s. So I would guess the tier 3 is going to be super chill compared. Uh oh, we have a link there again from Driss. Wait, is that somebody coming home? <laughs> from outside or somebody going out? You want to do it with one free? Oh my gosh. I watched your link. Is it is it a, an animated thing? Because it's not running. Oh wait. It is paused. Okay. I'm just bad at this, I guess. Wait a second. You know, I'm in a tier 5 abyss with a 350 million vessel. I, I have a, some priorities right now. Oh crap. I actually... Oh man, this... Shitty Null Warp Cruiser there is messing with my drone so hard. So let's let's check. I'm watching it. If I die, it's Triss's fault. Why is this always pausing? I have a pro technical problem. It's always pausing. I will check this after the stream, sir. I don't want to fail this fit by just being, you know, distracted and stuff. Actually, I actually want to heat this. I just realized, dang, I need to heat. My drones were getting hit hard, but I was fully aware that uh, it is the cruiser, and uh, the cruiser was about to die, so I did not really care about the drones. You're just modding. Cheers. What are you modding? Ah, oh, Keith. Or uh, modding channel, you mean, or what? So I wonder how long this is going to take here. This is a bit bad. Although, yeah, you know, once the shield is gone, this guy's going to drop like... Uh, it's made out of butter, so there's that. So what ship can do a tier 3? Uh, the Retribution can, but it's definitely not going to be chill, because you you need to run uh, it as a Kyder address. Uh, not going to be fun. Okay, now I need to go back to, to the loot there. I'm 53 kilometers away, dang, that's bad. I'm risking here to get a couple of hits, but... Oh, wait, I can't heat this. I'm repairing the guns right now, so I'm not going to heat uh, the afterburner. I, th I think we're still good. I'm not... It's still less than five minutes. Even if it's a six-minute stage, I'm, I'm happy with the outcome here. Hey, Dumble. Good afternoon. Beautiful. Oh, in fact, let's just send the drones there, shall we? Let's do that. And repair everything other than the afterburner. There we go. Battery got hurt a bit. Some resistances. And we're good. It was easy. It was a battleship stage, but it still worked nicely. Good luck with uh, the answering time there, Eurozone Esports. Depending on the question asked, takes a while. <laughs> the more concrete you ask questions, the less likely uh, you will get a straight answer. 26 mil, that's okay. That covers my, my entrance costs here. I'm even gonna... Whoops, where's the gate? Hello? Wait, what? Oh, the other side. Mm. Ah, let's jump. I will repair this after. Spirit drone. Greetings, Will Hastings. Hello. As well. Let's jump. Let's jump, 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 jump. Come on. The timer is now at six... Uh, no, wait. Six minutes and 20 seconds. So it wasn't a death room yet. That's fine. And I wasted a bit, bit of time there. It wasn't very clever. Uh, what's happening here? This is... Uh, this is going to hurt... 
Let's get rid of the uh, the entanglers and then uh, these. Oh, I actually need my faction drones here as far as I can tell. And as soon as the wardens are in, in range, this is going to hurt quite a bit. There's uh, not wardens, watchmen. This is going to hurt quite a bit, so let's just kill stuff quickly. Which is the death room? Um, Gladius, the death room? It really depends what you mean. Now, there's two kind of definitions for that. The death room is either a room your ship cannot survive because it's not meant for it, or it is the room where you, there is 15 Leshax spawning, which you can't really... Um, like handle in, in any kind of combination of Lesh Axe. But you can leave right away, so it's not technically not a death room because, yeah, you can just leave. You don't have to run it, right? You want to see the 15 Lesh Axe one? It's, it's not that impressive because with this ship here, I will just not run it. I will just go to the gate and exit. Um, there is a few spawns you can manage, but uh, it's generally very kind of dangerous. And with the 350 mil set up, there's no way you're going to do this, I'm pretty sure. You can really do anything other than watch your ship die? Wait, what? <laughs> Marvin, cheers. Okay, this was less DPS in my phase than I thought, but uh, that is not me complaining. This is actually pretty good. The watchmen are totally not enough DPS for my, for my tank here. That's really good. The Abyssals look quite fun, but also risky. Can new players do this, or should you wait to have more kills? Uh, skills. You can totally do this as a new player to learn Bob. You know, run a tier 1 with a cheap Aztec 1 cruiser. Get some experience. Um, have some fun. Obviously, as a new player, you're not just going to hop into tier 5s. What you're seeing here is is the most dangerous like tier of, of them all, right? Well... It is tier 5, but it's not the most dangerous weather. So electrical tier 5, I personally consider the easiest. Fonsui would probably go and, and be like, nah, it's uh, it's darks. But darks are just not a representation of how, how tanking works in the Abyss. So if you know how to run darks, you have no clue how to run the other ones. That's what I'm trying to say. Or you will be, like, overwhelmed by the damage that hits your face in other ones. And that's bad, I believe. You've seen uh, the DPS graph on the news. What do you mean by that? Wet elbow. Oh, the, the definition of the death room is you cannot really do anything other than watch your ship die. Cheers, Marvin. You, you got this. <laughs> oh, wait. Let's kill that one. So this is room number two. We have ten minutes left on the clock. Fair. It's okay. Not worried at all. One more watchman. Oh, I can actually show already conserve some capacitor here. I wonder why am I not getting hit harder by this guy? This is really cool. I love this. They are using this for COVID numbers. Ah, uh, I don't I don't think so. But they are certainly high in, in certain countries. And there's some anomalies which are really strange. Like Germany has a much lower death rate than other countries. My guess is that they are just testing more people. Um, you know, even those that do not show symptoms. Maybe. I don't know. Otherwise, why would German people be more resilient to to this crap, right? Maybe they eat more potato. Not a clue. Um, okay, this is a another boring stage, I would say. It is kind of interesting... In the fact that uh, there's a lot of entanglers, and I will have to ignore them in favor of the uh, sentinels here. They will, they will suck me dry otherwise. I don't, I don't know. I was just wondering, Melly. Germany are two weeks behind the rest in terms of result cases. That could also be a reason, right? 
That's a good point, Johnny. That's a good point. Wait, you wanna bring a video with potatoes, Tris? Come on. So Italy and Spain are the first affected countries. And I, I would guess after that it's Switzerland, Johnny, right? Or, well, France is probably in the same boat. So they had more ICU beds. Yeah, I think the, the amount of people dying to this really depends heavily on how many, like, respirators you do have. And uh, how many beds, obviously, in the... Uh, in the hospitals, if you have to turn back people, you know, there's there's a lot of people who are being turned back in Italy, uh, just, you know, basically sent home, more or less to die, because there is no more space. That is, uh, that is happening. So, yeah, let's wait, let's wait for two weeks, Johnny, and then have a look at this again i'm only mentioning this because a couple of news outlets kind of brought that up and uh, one of them i i really like right i think highly of them so i thought you know maybe they would have thought of that <laughs> i don't know not a clue ah oh, tomorrow i'm going shopping i hated shopping before now i hate it a bit more The potato song? Dress really? There's a potato song, right? You know things. <laughs> oh boy, indeed, right? Spirit Drone stating that the thing uh, that feels sucky for him is uh, that the countries that don't provide free healthcare, the bill, uh, those, to, to bill those who live after this is going to be extreme. Yeah, that you know, I mean, not it's not just for those who who are affected by uh, by the virus itself. I'm pretty sure a lot of us are going to pay the bill uh, due to you know the. Uh, the market being more or less on the bottom of everything. Uh, there's, it's going to be hard to be recovering from that one, right? Well, we'll see. Fingers crossed, right? Ooh, 50 million. That is nice. Wait, did I just make more than 100 mil? Uh, I don't think so. Nah, nope. Not enough. 87 mil only, and uh, it is the last stage, so... No more loot there, unfortunately. But this this even felt chill, I must say I must say. We have what five minutes left. Dang, Fonsui, this is working. Fonsui, you're still there? This is working. <laughs> I was I was not sure about this. But so far I had really bad rooms already. It was it was shaky. But once the the shield invulnerability Rebalance is done. This is going to be rock solid, I'm fairly certain. There's one more room. No, there is not. That was the origin gate there. Future Dark Emperor. I checked. Check 3D with a rate. Thanks a lot. Welcome, everybody. And uh, check out Jake's, um stream. Guess he's playing Eve as well. You're, you're cruising through tier 4s. What do you mean you bought one of these? Are you talking... This ship here? <laughs> you know, even in a tier 4, this is going to be shaky at times. <laughs> you mean the proving grounds? Nah, not with this ship. Today we, we have another mission. I want to prove that this works and I'm too... Oh, dumb. Always working to the wrong... A bookmark here, apparently. Dang, that's so dumb. What is this, Triss? Oh yeah, okay, that was the one which was stuck before. Let's see if it, load, if it loads now. 
What's this supposed to do? Oh, wow. Does he have money in there? That seems like a lot of effort. <laughs> hey, Alex Stallone. Good afternoon. Oh, the toilet paper. Cheers. This guy doesn't know it, it's for free here. You can collect it as channel points if you want. How long to scale into your ship? So this ship here, Red Knight, is not just about getting access to it. You want to have best skills possible for everything you run. So you want to go with your missile skills. You want to have uh, Tech 2 drone top skills. Uh, top skills in terms of the tank uh, the rigs have to not give you that many penalties otherwise this is not going to work so it's going to take a long time to to get there um red knight you can get into this ship quickly but doing what i do with this ship uh, needs max skills in in every aspect of uh the fitted stuff and the ship itself obviously uh, obviously hello seahorn good afternoon do i have mastery five on the gila probably not um, I have Mastery 4, but I'm fairly certain that what's missing for 5 is completely irrelevant for Abyssals. Let's check. What am I missing? I'm missing two things. Yeah, well, the, the heavy missile specialization, that's not needed with this fit. And uh, what is this? Shield tanking. Thermal shield compensation. I don't need that one either because I'm not using um, passive amplifiers. I'm using involves here, so this is not... Yeah, I, I would say for what I'm running, I have max skills on this uh, ship. My rig skills are maxed, I believe. Not all of them, but... Let's check. Where's my rigging? Rigging, rigging, rigging. Can't see it there. 10. So, well, mm, we are right. Astronautics rigging, I don't have max. What kind of drawbacks do I get from that anyway? Is it relevant? What drawback does does this give me? At the expense of armor, not relevant. Okay, what else? Energy weapon I'm not using. Jury rigging, not relevant. Projectile, not rigging. Shield rigging, okay, this could be interesting. Because I have a shield rig in, what does that do? Okay, I could save a little bit on signature radius. You're, you're actually, you, you have a point there. Good point. I want to totally train that after the other things I'm training. <laughs> we'll be done in 60 days. Yay. Hello, Dumbo. Did I say that already? Probably. Yeah, you want to have it at least four, right? And especially as, as a Gila, having even, even lower signature radius is going to help. The Gila is quite big, kind of. And if you rig shield, you will always uh, add to your signature. And if it's less, that is obviously a good thing. Okay. This was the third tier five. The ship is still alive. I wasn't really screaming yet. And I have to get a new booster in three minutes. So I feel like let's do a, a quick giveaway. Even though, you know, there's no special occasion other than it survived three tier fives already. Um... How about a little box of uh, of uh, skins? Yay! You. We are going to give away skins. Boom. And it's going to be a raffle. Dris, did that disturb you? I hope it did. Exclamation mark raffle. It's about a box of... Uh, Skins estimated 500 million esque, give or take. Best of luck. It's actually, you know, it's a good time to get some more liquid for me. So I'll be right back. One moment.
here we go. Who wins uh, the box of skins? Hello again. It seems to be Will Hastings. Congrats. Will Hastings, what is your in-game name? Because you get a box of skins. It will show up eventually. That one is empty. Okay. This one is not empty. Let's grab them all. And the in-game name is Mei Yang. Cheers. So there's a mix of, you know... Oh, there's even... Dawn of Liberty skins in there. Nestor, Spectral Shift. Uh, the Gila, Deathglow. Ishtar Spirit. Pretty cool stuff. Don't <clears throat> sell all of the uh, Glacial Drift skins right away. They might still ri rise in price. Mei Yang. Oh, there's a lot of Mei Yangs. Uh, Mei Yang. That one. That's what we... What we all come for, uh, myself included, Red Knight, to chill a bit. The world is crazy, right? And uh, everybody needs a place to chill, uh, me included. And that was your contract. Congrats, Will Hastings. Let's go back. You're welcome, uh, Will. Okay, I need more missiles. The ship is still alive, which uh, surprises me a bit. I didn't expect that. Oh, wait, that's uh, not enough missiles. One five, and I need another chaotic electrical here. Plus, what was that? Um, I'm actually going for a strong blue pill, you know? I feel like this... This could make the difference between me living or, or dying. 17 million is, is fair enough for, you know, to save a ship worth 350 mil. So we will take that and a hard shell as well. H and C. Hard shell dose number two. Whoa, wrong station. Take it from here. Good morning, Doc. How's it going? Good afternoon. And I even feel like I want to upgrade this in terms of the battery because if I get a capacitor penalty just to have the compact here it feels a bit shaky let me check 233 what happens if there is a republicly large in there Ooh, that is so much better how much are these they are 24 million only I, I will do that. I'm going to upgrade the fit a little. Because I have uh, confidence that this is actually something really good we are looking at here. So let's put that. And I did upgrade the uh, to a strong blue pill just in case, right? Let's put that here as well. Oh, where have I? There. Twenty-two minute cap train time. What do you mean? Spirit drone. So yeah, the large Republic fleets are actually dirt cheap compared to some uh, some other things, right? Okay, I like that. Um, let's save this again. I probably have to delete this now. Save um, and uh, copy that thing. I'm upgrading Link My Fit right now, as well. Exclamation mark Fit is pointing to the newly uh, posted chip. Now this is uh, depletes in three minutes and thirty-three seconds. Uh, Spirit drone. 
but in electrical sites it's going to be stable uh, as long as I don't have too much penalties that is all right let's see so this ship now if I want to buy it I, th I think it's still sub 400 it just shows a bit more than in in the estimate yeah it's 391 mil now but if we get to work this ship without dying in tier 5 electricals this is a really good price Obviously, you want to have max skills and uh, a little bit off. Um. Oh man, where's the word? My, my brain today is fried. Experience in uh, tier 5s. That's the word. Cheers. And as always, if I am using wrong words or, mis or mispronounce things, feel free to correct me there. I'm eager to learn non-English native speaker here. Whoa, there's a party in Cheetah for four for some reason. Are they celebrating my fit here? <laughs> Probably, right? Okay, let's go in. That is uh, tier five, number four. Do I have everything? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, did I fit the battery? Oh, I... <laughs> First. <laughs> that was simulation, right? Oh. oh, wow, it didn't activate. Let's go back to the station, right? Uh -huh. Well played. No, I'm, I'm Swiss, Red Knight. Yeah, better go get that battery. Because I was, I was about to fly... Kind of, in a way assuming that this battery is there so and it's like 30 percent more cap stable so i really want to have that battery now <laughs> oh crap good jobbers we can do it we can do it i mean i had one hour less sleep kind of during the weekend because of the uh, daylight saving changing again in uh, europe That's that's correct. Jorm 2K, are you Swiss as well, or are you just kind of flexing your Swiss German muscles there for no reason? Okay, let's get the battery. I may even have this. One moment. Uh, this would be what cap. I do have one. Beautiful. Don't even have to buy it. Boom. There we go. Oh, I could actually add an implant with 1 or 2% cap. That would be cheap as well. You're Swiss too. All right. Where where are you from, uh, Jorm? I, I don't want the address. Just, you know, general area. Or well, Canton, maybe. All right. Let's try this again. Zurich. Okay. It's okay, Charm. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> I'm from Bern, so I have to say that, right? That's just the way it is. Okay, let's try this again. Tier 5, take 4. In a sub 400 million vessel now. But it has a beautiful skin. It looks like a billion-esque worth of Gila here, but it's really not. Unless you factor in the pilot. <laughs> I'm gonna pay for this. <clears throat> Alright, what's gonna hit the fan here? Let's have a look. Okay, that one is not gonna kill me. I wonder what kind of tower this is. Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> You know what I'm going to do here? I'll just wait. I'll just orbit this one and wait. It will probably hurt. But, uh, well, I want to kill the snare casters. Maybe these. The rest should, should just die on its own, right? And uh, I shouldn't have launched my drone, uh, my missiles, because they will certainly not arrive there. Um, this being a short range tower, right? It doesn't hurt me, it hurts my drones, but not to an extent where I'm afraid, actually, so we'll just... 
I'll just sit here and wait. I'm I'm worried about the uh, strike glances here. I mean, it's not a lot of them, right? But they can still hurt me if they are in optimal. But let's see what, what happens there. I mean, they're almost dead already. Holy crap. Oh, no, wait. That's actually the spotlighters. The strike glances are taking less damage? How is that even possible? Okay, let's just sit here and wait. There's a particular rogue drone type that just one-shots drones. In the abyss, yeah, the battle cruisers. They are they are not very uh, nice fellows, uh, indeed. So this is a super easy stage. All I do here is orbit this tower, let the tower kill everything, and then I will head over to the loot, and we'll see what the next stage is gonna do to us. You do that one hey, Seth. Time, good afternoon. Throw you across the room. And thanks for the follow, Jorm. Welcome to the channel. Uh, are you playing Eve, Jorm? Or are you just, you know, watching the stream for other reasons? Because if you're playing Eve, there's actually three Swiss Eve players already I know of. Myself included, so... That, like, that's like 50% more than I knew just before. Chief uh, Tradems, greetings to you. And here we go, let's bump a bit. Kill the loot with the drones. This was way too chill, wasn't it? And I'll have a shitload of time for the next stages. So you don't play Eve? As in at all, Jorm? Holy crap. <laughs> Oh, uh, Raya, yeah, you're the second one, Raya, right? I know I know of you and Jorm, that's it. Wait, Mimax is Swiss as well? Dang! There's there's four Swiss EVE players now, guys. 13 million isk, okay, there's that. Captain Brom. Guys, we are five people playing EVE online. <laughs> In Switzerland already. Dang! It's like half of the player base. Swiss, Swiss invasion right there, Lord of Seth. Oh, cheers. The, the Bernie's Oberland. Cheers, Captain Brumber. Okay, this is gonna hurt. This is not fun at all, and I will pr well, probably have to use my boosters. I want to get the Starvers out of the mix first, obviously. ASAP. Hot Weaponry. Hot Shield uh, Invulnerability Field. I will have to run these. So let's run this Staggered. It's only three harrowing vet max in total though, but two of them are starvers, and there's two storming frigates as well. So I wonder how this is gonna end here. So far, it, it's looking good. I mean, there's a blue cloud which is helping me kill them faster. Plus, ah, uh, well, I'm out of the blue cloud now, so there's that. But the first starver is gone. This looked actually pretty solid. You know what? I'm gonna stop the heat. I think I turned these on way too early. Stop the heat. Let's just kill these. Oh, I see. They, they're not tracking well right now. I do not know why, though. Interesting. Uh, one anchoring. Damovic just switched to my drones, which sucks, but... Well, there's not much I can do right now. Father Tech has been in Switzerland once. Yeah, technically, that, that does not make you a Swiss, right? <laughs> Hello, Rizix. Hello to all tax avoiders. What do you mean? We, we're not supposed to do that anymore in Switzerland. Well, if you're a foreigner, you're not no longer supposed to do that with Swiss banks. As a local, you, I believe, could still do it, but uh, it's still illegal, but if nobody knows, you know what? <laughs> there's that. But, you know, tax evasion is lame. Uh, there's a reason we pay taxes, and uh, for a couple of developed countries, it actually makes sense to pay these taxes, because they are, you know, put into... Um, things like education or, you know, road network or what, whatever. <laughs> Infrastructure stuff. It's a really good thing. I do not pay tax in the EVE Corp, but it's my corporation, Rizix, so... Does it matter? Let's uh, kill the Starvers next, because they are the ones putting pressure on me here. Cap-wise. Or political corruption. Yeah, I, I was. That's why I said some countries, Kazal Kazun. 
I'm not saying Switzerland is perfect or anything, but uh, in terms of governments, I, I would trust in. Swiss government is one of the first I would trust in, really. I mean, there's some, there's some total idiots, obviously, there as well. But the majority is doing a good job. Um, yeah, and even, even right now, some say, you know, tough times bring the best or, or the worst out in people. And uh, in terms of government, uh, it looks pretty decent what uh, is being done right now. How is Boris Johnson, by the way? Is he is he fine now or still still fighting some symptoms there? Haven't haven't heard uh, anything for two days, I believe. Shaya, greetings. Good afternoon. Okay, this stage was way easier than I thought it would be. That was uh, very interesting. It could not have been the battery only, though, so... Confusing stuff. Let's repair things, shall we? I know he's self-isolating, but I, I'm just wondering if he has still some symptoms or if he's completely, like, symptom-free now. He's actually one of the politicians I underestimated. You know, in terms of this Brexit topic, I, I was like, oh, he's a total idiot. Uh, but the way he is talking to people during this crisis and the decisions that have been made at so, uh, after some point in time uh, make a lot of sense to me. So Interesting, right? And we have some baby ASMR in, uh, in the background. Uh, well, that was the second stage, wasn't it? I think it was. Let's get the uh, shield back up. I'm gonna wait for a second there. Yeah, it, it's probably hard, uh, Joe Gardar, if you're an extroverted person, right? Um, the baby's shouting, you didn't show the girl for Driss. <laughs> I, I will show that guy again, just because of you, Driss. You, you're digging that hole. <laughs> ah, the first one was the drone tower, right? Good point. Good point. Oh, somebody's really not happy right now. Oh, gosh. Oh, there's even a tangler in the mix. Oof. All right, this one is going to hurt, that's for sure. Um, That one has to go quickly. Uh, hopeful there is no... Okay, there is no... Um, ghosting Damovix in the mix. I'm gonna heat my drones. Oh, my afterburner's off. Oof. <laughs> Shit. I don't really care much about the Tangler, actually. Webbing me right now, as long as the drones are free. I'm good with this. I will have to get rid of it eventually, though. Where is it? Uh, did I lock it up already? No. There we go. So the first star is going down. The, the danger here is there's also three starving frigates in the mix. So this is quite some uh, cap pressure right now. And I'm inclined to reuse my my heat now on the resist for, for the time being. After the, the cruiser starver is dead, I think I will go and kill the tangler and then switch to the uh, small starvers. Yeah, I believe I want to actually also use the Booster now. Yeah, let's use the booster. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, did I just jettison that one? Oh my gosh, where's my booster? First, what the? Wait, 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 wait. Woo <laughs> this is not real. This did not just happen, did it? You gotta be shitting me. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, come on. I'm, I'm webbed. That's a problem. Okay. Woof. <laughs> Consume. Consume. Oh my gosh, Erst. What the hell? Pro streamer, right there. Dang, somebody hit me. <laughs> what was that, Erst? Gotta be shitting me. What did it do to me? Strong. Uh, I got a shield capacity penalty. I love that. That's fine. I can work with that. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Let's wrap. Oh my gosh. I probably even did not need it, though. <laughs> In retrospective, right? Because the starver is, is dead now. The second uh, cruiser starver, that is. <sighs> what a crap. Yeah, I was just too, like, cautious there, right? 
I think that's the first time this happened to me. I, I never jettisoned the booster before. Good job, Erst. <laughs> oh well. Alright, we can repair the second booster now. I want to kill that Herring Vet Max so I can start wrapping up the uh, invulns as well. Yeah, I'm a crab, I know. Rezix. There's no point in pointing it out. It's obvious. Oh my gosh. That is Madison. And she sounds, I don't know, is that hunger? <laughs> or she just saw me jettison my booster, right? Stream delay and stuff. So she only just saw that now. Exclamation mark DPS robber. That is how you get that thing. Okay, opening up loot with one of my drones. I can totally rep now my resists, I believe. Did hurt probably some passives as well. Oh yeah. There we go. Let's not lose that Republic fleet battery, right? Okay, this was, you know, even though it was a hard stage, it kind of was chill. You can even chat this in the booster, apparently, there. Oh, wait, why am I, am I repping here, right? That was the last stage. Yeah, man, I'm wasting paste. I'm such an idiot. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Oh, dangers. Come on. Oof, that loot, though. So bad. And we're done. Whoa, I have, what? Seven and a half minutes left. You gotta be kidding me. That's really good. People using some boosters before entering the Abyss. Yeah, I found find that a little bit boring, Mercury. I need a, a bit more, like, uh, surprises in these sites. That's why I'm only using boosters, uh, if it's really necessary. Find it much more fun, that is. Hello, uh, MR. Madison. Madison? What do you mean, MR? Yeah, Madison is mad right now. Well, she stopped crying, so I guess... She's getting food, or something else. She had a full diaper just two hours ago. I heard. Oh, there, there she is again. Dang. We, we will just uh, check in a moment if it doesn't stop. Oh man, am I warping to the wrong uh, safe spot? What makes that fit so special? It's 300, it's less than 400 mil, Future Dark. <laughs> That's the special. Or are you asking why does it work? I, I don't know yet. Okay, dock up. Running tier fives consistently with a fit that's less than 400 mil, that is not very common. I mean, you can pull it off uh almost consistently but 100 percent consistently i haven't seen that so far so i wonder if we could keep this alive forever so my plan is at least from let's say mondays we are going to run until this ship dies i'm running a single implant uh, jamie richard and that is what what was it yeah two percent afterburner speed that's all i have here that costs what nine million I don't think it even matters, really. I did jettison the booster spirit drone, but I was in time to pick it up again and consume it, so I didn't die. I probably didn't even need it. Maybe I did that intentionally. <laughs> you never know with Earth streams, right? No, I'm not that good. So, 36 million of loot. All right, that is less than 14. <sighs> after the filament that kind of sucks oh well there's that need more paste chewing through paste here like there's no tomorrow oh i just bought that in the wrong station didn't i i know perfect if i did that in faction warfare it would be real psychological warfare <laughs> cheers spiritual <laughs> oh man whoa rune is here rune wolf um with 44 nice people well fa in fact probably 43 nice people and rune entering how's it going rune good afternoon sir guys make sure to drop a follow check his content <laughs> and he has a new emote right there <laughs> cheers <laughs> and welcome everybody 
this was what tier uh sorry St um filament number four in a tier you five one more time and I'm gonna throw you the ship the did road. not die yet eden's rest thanks for the follow welcome to the channel what flavors do you run that gila with Ah, oh, toasty flavors shaya but you probably are asking for the weather and that's electrical only and i'm i'm fairly okay uh, rune wolf i hope you you had it well i know you had a chill stream as usual do not miss that content guys rune wolf is super chill i'm kind of new to the game but uh, he knows things i mean you, you just have to check his stream titles he's gonna basically tell you how to win eve like you know with one hand only he's also gonna tell you what you can do with that other hand but that's as far as i can go uh, on this channel cheers I did not know I would go there when I started that sentence. Damn it, Rune. You see the effect you have on me there, right? That's just not good. It's not good. I need another filament now. Clip incoming with... <laughs> wasn't even that... I mean, you know, watch Rune, Rune Wolf's channel. That's where the dad jokes kind of are born, I believe. Okay, I need another filament. I'm still ISK positive today, that's good. As long as this ship doesn't die, I'm ISK positive. Oh, for those just arriving. I'm trying to verify a fit that was given to me, which I did modify a bit. That this fit survives consistently in tier 5 electricals. And the speciality is uh, it costs you a little bit less than 400 mil. So let's see, so far we had a couple of hilarious stages, and it lived. The timer was not a problem yet. Let's see. So I, I had three starving Vedmax with a um, harrowing Vedmax, plus a shit ton of, you know, uh, frigate Triglavians. And it survived quite nicely. I had to use the booster, but that's the whole point. This fit is kind of requiring you to use the boosters eventually. Okay, let's do it again. Tier 5. Um, take number 5. Oh, did I repair? Yeah, I did repair. Okay. And we will do another giveaway after this one. Just to celebrate Rune Wolf's raid. Probably another skin box. You know what that means, Dress. And hello, Trace. Good afternoon. Are you doing this out of Cheetah? Uh, the thing is, the vessel is 400 mil. I'm just too lazy to move it somewhere else. So if it dies to, to some... Uh, where is the word? Um, suicide ganking. So be it. <laughs> there is there's one thing, though, in particular that is interesting. Let me show you here. It's kind of hard to find my Trace here, right? <laughs> just say it. <laughs> Not the only one doing this, so here we go. But you know, feel free, it's Eve, right? In we go. Take number five. Is, is there... I wonder how this ship performs against Leshak spawns. But yeah, I'll just send drones and it will be fine. I wonder. Oh, uh, this one sucks, because it's going to take a long time, but it's not really a problem. Um, I just need to get my drones launched now. Kill the dissipators. Um, the obfuscators will make me, uh, maybe not even lose targets, I don't know. Oof, what kind of tower is this? Short range, that's bad for missiles, so let's move away a li little. As soon as the... Oh, there's a lot of Lancers. Oh, this is going to hurt. This might actually hurt. Let's see, one of the boosters is on, uh, one of the dissipators is already down. Yeah, my, my Firestorm, uh, Gila is, I do not run in Cheetah. But I do not run it far away from Cheetah either, so... I just, you know, I wouldn't undock it if I cannot afford to lose it, so... I don't give a rat's ass, right? I have a feeling like I want to kill some of the Lancers next. 
They're the main source of damage here, hitting my, my face. Oh man, the entanglers are going for my drones. I'm actually gonna switch my drones to uh, the faction ones now. To have a bit better uh, tank on them. I don't think tracking matters against these, but oh well. Looks though I'm, I'm stable, kind of. That's fine. Oh, there's one more Null Warp Cruiser. Ah, uh, sorry, Null Charge, meaning neuter in the mix, but uh, looks good. Could probably even turn off one of the boosters, maybe. Oh, use missiles, how about that? And the Epitals Cruisers are going down quickly because they have almost no resist. Hello, Nando, good afternoon. And I'm actually shooting into their resist hole as well uh, here with my drones, so... They're just melting. Ah, I need the second booster, apparently. But I'm not worried. This is an easy stage. Uh, it's a lot of targets to kill, but um, they should work. It's a Gila Aurelin. A very special one. It's less than 400 mil. And this is our fifth tier 5 with it. I have a feeling we can keep this alive forever. We can obviously not prove that part forever, but we can prove at least... How many sides do I have to run in total, guys, to prove that this works consistently? What would you say? Give me a number there. Not today, I mean in general. We will run this vessel vessel once in a while to just, you know, increase that counter. Where is our Guardian running tier 5s? What do you mean? That's uh, Will It Blend content. This is not Will It Blend today, guys. This is serious business. We want to find that ship for less than, yeah, well, 500 mil, but this one is less than 400. That runs the tier 5s consistently. 20 to 50? 100? Woof, Marvin. I I would go for 50. Let's say we, we will run 50 in total and then, oh, we, we will we will call this fit either, well, dead or or alive. It does not count until Fonsui claims it does. I don't, I don't know where Fonsui is. He was here at the very start of the stream. I showed the fit and then he was gone. That's seriously what happened. He, he didn't speak anymore. Maybe he's like, oh, come on, that's nuts, or... Ah, oh, shit, that's just one... Just a thing I did, like, years ago. And he was bored, so we, we don't... Or he's testing it. <laughs> All right. He's running it. Who knows? I don't know. Oh, Leshak blueprint. That's nice. Boom. I know what battleship we're going to give away on Sunday. It has to earn double its cost on average before it blows up. Oh, is, is that the way you calculate the fitting? That's actually a good point, Aurelian. Oh, I think... Uh, I mean, we can check the loot I have in Cheetah. I already have 200 mil or something. So I'm almost there with one time the ship cost, but we need to have it double. Is the DC on low that much important? Yeah, Obi-Wan. It kind of is. It's surprising, but I will show you um, in simulation what that does. So uh, let's go here. A uh, simulate. So you can see with with uh, it, I have, I have 72, let's say, thermal resistance, right? If I turn it off, it's 67. So um, if we have a 67%, you know, damage reduction, somebody shoots us with... 100 damage, we will be hit with 33 damage, right? And we can lower that to 28. And that is what, 30%? No, it's a bit less. 20% 20% less damage you get? That's a lot. It's a freaking lot. It's surprising, but it's a lot. If you have especially good resists already, Adding more to, to your shield uh, resists in mid slots is going to be kind of harder than just putting a, a damage control. And you, you get away with it, with the damage control um, in, a, in the electrical side, for example, because there's no additional HP with shield and, uh, and armor, right? So the DPS is not that important. I think the, the shortest timer or the shortest time left was five minutes today. I always have five minutes plus left with the five runs i did so this one is gonna gonna hurt a bit but not too much so let's just chill let's uh kite this a bit 
you're just considering those critical strikes and the battle cruiser. The thing is, the battle cruiser, you just out out maneuver. Battle cruisers are not supposed to hit your ship. It's easy. Just don't go close and uh, run your faction drones so they don't die instantly when aggro switches and you're, you're, you're golden. That's pretty much how it works. Okay, here we go. Let's kill uh, the spark lances here. Where are they? They're behind me now. All right, beautiful. Do a little turn. That's... Yeah, can can you give me a number there, Gwarov? That's the theory. I know that one. <laughs> don't, don't go all science on me, Gwarov. Or I will make you explain Sigma. He used a lot of variable terms in that sentence. Yeah, he did, right? <laughs> the whole sentence was a variable right there. Okay, let's go to the loot. This is a super chill stage here. I'm not worried at all. All small things. I want to have more like... What's, what's really worst case? If I have to decide between shooting tanglers and neuters first. If it's a lot of neuters. And there's a battleship. I think that's that's tricky, but the rest is kind of not the notation, what it means in terms in, in the statistic. Uh, statistic eight neuters is, is a problem, right? I mean if if it's Triglavian neuters, as in battleship, eight Triglavian neuters, that's fine. We can outrange these. But if it's uh the drifter neuters combined with Weber's and the battleship, that's a problem. But we'll see. Uppercase or lower? What do you mean? I'm not talking about the symbol, Aurelian. <laughs> it is no. It's totally nothing wrong with an extended vocabulary. I was just messing with uh, with Aurelian there. You know, I'm a simple mind. I just wanted to hear a number. How many sites do I have to run? And he went all sciency on me. Nice shit loot right there. Whoa. Music is a bit loud. Holy crap. I'm enjoying it though, so. But feel free to let me know if stuff is off on the stream. I'm eager to fix this ASAP. Wow, it didn't even heat. Yet. And wait, this is the last stage coming in, is it? Yeah, I think so. Ding. This is fast. I wonder if I can even put a long finger on this one somehow. That would be too hilarious though. That would be too hilarious. Oh yeah, here here's the one you were talking about, guys. Or some some of you or one of you said this is a problem. Not really a problem. Um so you wanna go for well actually it doesn't really matter. Uh spark grip, strike grip, ember grip. There's not even an EM, an EM guy, and I'm using my uh, faction drones. I kind of want to get the playlist up and running again. Let's do that. There we go. So all I have to kind of watch out for is me pulling the drones once they get aggro, and yeah, I should probably kill the, the logistics here right next. Uh, shouldn't have started shooting the spark grip first. That was a bit dumb, but oh well. One less of these is one less worry, right? Hello, Martin. Good afternoon. All right, next up is uh, the funny little logistics here. And as long as these guys are at like 15 kilometers plus the uh, battle cruisers, they will not hit you. They will not even hit you. Okay, drones are getting attacked. Let's pull uh, the drones. While I'm shooting some of my missiles to the Funny logistics there. Okay, second flight is going out. And everything is under control. They don't even take that much time to, to kill, as long as you have your rapid lights in range. And your drones are not too slow, obviously. This is quite quick. Z kill there is a Balgorn that was killed by procurers. That is... That hurts, right? Spirit drone. <laughs> That strike grip is getting a bit close, but it's fine. We can totally tank a couple of hits. 
and at some point we can even face tank like I think I can face tank three of these without worrying too much let's go down to the loot now how many procurers that's a question I you uh, my drones are getting hit again I want to kill this first and then I will pull them come on go away all right That must be a surprising, like, fleet composition, eh, if, if you face procurers in a Balgarn. I wonder who was running this fleet. Oh wait, my, my drones are still inside. I probably want to shoot things. Major Mike, we are, we are going strong. This, wait, wait, I forgot. Is this tier, uh, is this stage number five? Sorry, uh, I mean, Abyss five? Or is this number six? It's at least number five I'm running. Oh, I lost count already. I wanted to go for 50. I already lost count. We literally have solidifiers and boost amps. What do you mean? Fonsui. Using two shield boosters run counter to the entire concept of shield boosters. There are more effic effective ways to increase the output. Fonsui, can you build a ship with the same amount of money that does this in terms of uh, tank about yeah what does about mean you know 20% less is not enough has to be at least this or I will not accept this let's see if Fonsu comes up with something uh, that is better than this one probably within 50 mil what do you mean 50 mil more expensive eh. and I do not want to have a triple X ALSP I want to have it chill. That's important. So yeah, w within 50 mil, Fonsui, show us. I I will not compromise on speed, on cap stability, and tank. And DPS wise, well, I could go for a little lower, but not not that much. Oh, Rodiva, we got two, Triglavian blueprints right there you got an email from twitch that's just uh confirming that they got your message you're a zone <laughs> oh let us know <laughs> oh man okay it was that message confirming your message there you go yeah that's that's always exciting isn't it right you got a medium dissipator skill, but from a tier three. Congrats! They are not that expensive anymore, but still, good catch right there. There you go, Eurozone. One hundred seventy mil. It was like four hundred a couple of months ago. Not that many months even. Okay, that was uh, number what five. Let's go. Oh, no, wait. That's the wrong uh, docking port there. Here we go. Hello, F Father Tech. You said hi already. You've learned a ton from watching the YouTube videos. What? One thing he says, if you could cover it sometime in the future in uh, one of uh, the videos, how, cal how you calculate how much incoming DPS you can tank? That's actually pretty simple. You can either use Pypha, that's what Fonsui says. I like to do things in my head a little. Um, so let's uh, just quickly explain this. Uh, on screen, I want to just dock up. So the question is, uh, how much effective hit points can I tank per second? I believe, right? You should have gone to the Proving Gate, no problem. Not with this ship, we are having a different mission. We want to prove that this is never going to die in a tier 5 and it is less than 400 million. Um, yes, even though the estimate says it's more because I have loot right now. So there's that. Um, so uh, let's take an easy... Uh, can we get an easy number there? Yeah, okay. So let's look at this. You can. You obviously can say that for, for a specific damage type, the easiest. Um, father Tech, right? Am I 
yeah, pronouncing it correctly, I believe. So this one says uh, you have a 80% or I have an 80% explosive shield damage resistance, right? And uh, we can say that if somebody hits me with 100 damage, um, so he has a missile and that missile hits me perfectly and that missile does 100 damage in this situation, uh, explosive damage, I will only receive 20, right? So I can tank. Uh, okay, no, that's that's the resistances part. Now let's assume we have. Oh shit, this is a really ugly number. Okay, we we are we are repairing with one hundred and forty h forty h one hundred and forty eight HP per second, right? So what we can do is we we basically assume that. Uh, yeah. This is the calculation. I was just explaining how to get there. Uh, <laughs> so what you can do is basically the damage you still take, in this case 20%, 20% uh, 20 of 1 is 0.2, right? So you take the HP per second and you divide that to uh, the percentage of damage uh, you still take. Uh, so 143 in this case divided by 0.2 and that gives you a number of 715 and that is the effective uh, HP per second you're tanking so somebody who wants to break your tank needs to run at least 715 real damage I hope that kind of explains it and what I do in in my head it's just a rough estimation when i look at these numbers i i usually go like okay that's one fifth that is two thirds uh whatever or three fourth and, and this kind of thing so it's not really exact it's more of an estimation sometimes i pull up the calculator to get the numbers but uh that is more or less how how it works hello azarcanis good afternoon many of many greetings Is this fit stable in electricals? Yes, it is, absolutely. And it didn't die yet. But Fonsui is going to come up with a better version of it. We're, we're just waiting. Fonsui, are you ready yet? I'm waiting here. <laughs> just messing with you. Uh, okay, let's do another one. Did I say we will do a giveaway after this? I think I did. Driss, are you ready for this? Just want to make sure. I don't want to call, catch you off guard. Uh, it doesn't matter. Let, let's just do it. Okay, we are going to do a giveaway, and it's uh, going to be, uh, again, skins! Yay! yoo <laughs> That was for Driss. Um, Raffle is going to be up in a second. <laughs> Exclamation mark, Raffle. Best of luck, everybody. Where is that Earth picture? It's still there. <laughs> Um, I saw an amazing picture of Uncle Online on Twitter, though. I was I was kind of intending to ask him, can I use this for the skin screen? But he was still asleep, apparently. Um, so I didn't bother uh, kind of poking at him. Uh, I'm going to ask him, maybe. This would be so cool. <laughs> I shouldn't have talked about it, though. It's going to be less cool for those knowing it's going to happen, right? Given he gives me permission, right? You got a pretty funny Erst picture on Discord. Yeah, that, that previous stream thing, you mean. Hey, you for what? Years ago, right? 10 seconds to go. So you were raffling for a, a box full of skins estimated at 500 million isk, give or take. Lord Knox, what are you talking about? Oh, well, uh, counter is at zero. And here we draw. The hacker man thing, what? <laughs> oh, you MS painted that. Nice one, Ayuf. And there is. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Driss, who didn't like that animation, is actually the winner of the raffle this time. Congrats, Driss. What is your in game name, dear? Now you have to like the guy. Probably not, but. You know, I had to say it. So we have an exactly 500 mil estimate for this box with 
We have a Madigu skin, some Iron Spirit skins. We have the Hunter's Quiver, Death Glow, um, oh, Headhunter skins are in there as well. Some other cool things, obviously. <laughs> you think? Oh, okay, you still don't like the guy. Well, why does not? Why does that not surprise me? Whoa, CC. Whoa, what, what just happened? How is that even possible? CCP. Thanks a lot for the host. Who's doing was that? We we are we are just doing giveaways, non RMT, and I just hit Control V <laughs> to to insert skins here. That didn't that didn't work. Maybe auto host. I don't know. Thanks a lot for the host and welcome everybody who may uh, come to this channel that way. Where was I? We we are doing a giveaway. Dress just one. Even though he didn't like the, the skin animation we, we are using these days. Right? Oh, I can check Chatty. Chatty will know, right? Here is the contract. Congrats, Driss. Well played. Um, let's move on, right? We, we have some business here, and the business is keeping this ship alive. It is not a will at blend stream, because I don't expect this to die. It is still less than 400 million isk, and we are pulling it... Uh, through uh, tier 5 electricals. Mm, I think number 6 is up next. And it should, it should live! Exclamation mark fit for details. My booster is up for another 27 minutes, so I'm gonna just grab another chaotic arm filament. You can even afford to jettison your strong blue pill, and you have time enough with Webers on you to pick it up again and, and use it. So that's how good this fit is. We, we tested this one in particular. Rather unintentional, I, I want to add, but you know, it has been tested. Just noticed you streaming. Oh, Fleabix is here. So we thought uh, to host since we aren't streaming at the moment. Um, I heard you, you did the clear skies um, like marathon yesterday unfortunately it was way too late for me we we just had the summer time change again here and uh, i was in bed but i i heard people enjoyed it very much especially you know the company and having the uh the director there as well it was pretty cool and thanks for for the host there fleabix how much have you looted by now oh i didn't check but it's more than 200 mil prom so we're probably Oh, wait, with, with the uh, blueprints? Maybe I'm already isk positive. Huh. We, we'll check once I'm back. Cheers, CCP. So, it, it was it was a really cool thing to do, you know, people confined at home uh, to watch some uh, fan fiction together. What well, was pretty cool, I heard. Life is complete. Cheers. <laughs> And there's going to be Clear Skies not, uh, 4, I heard, right? That Somebody said that on Twitter, it's confirmed. Maybe I'm, I'm spreading rumors here now, but... <laughs> oh, there was a trailer. All right, then. That's not a rumor. Let's go in. That's the uh, Chaotic Electrical Tier 5, number 6. Thanks for the host, Ayuf. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that sounds interesting. With a new rendering package. Dang. Okay, but now I need to focus. Oh, that looks bad. Oh, no, wait. Oh, yeah, it looks bad. Oh, shit. Uh, there's no Starver, but there is a shit ton of Webers. Well, three, but still. A lot of anchoring. My drones will not like this. I hope... Well, actually, I'm pretty sure I can just kill this quickly before they, um, the Tanglers are even a thing. Uh, on my drones. I'm not, I don't care about, you know, them webbing me. I just don't want them to web the drones, because if they do that, my drones will not be able to apply damage optimally on the, uh, on the Vet Max. They, they are the ones hurting me here, so... I'm worried, but not that much, because it's just two. We had another situation before. It was three starving uh, Vet Max and one harrowing in the same stage. I was a bit close, but it worked. Can't take two launchers fit? Nope. I, there was Tech 2 launchers in this fit at the start, uh, so this fit was kind of suggested to me. I did a little bit of, you know, fiddling around with it. 
I uh, had to downgrade the launchers to the uh, the Meta 5, I believe it is, because I needed to fit the Drone Link of Manor here. I know this is going to be otherwise killing me eventually when there's a Leshak spawn that is uh, too far away. So I had to, to make that sacrifice. A little bit less DPS, but so far today, I always had 5 minutes plus left after finishing. So I'm not worried too much about this. Now I need to really kill the Tanglers. They haven't switched yet, but my drones are getting hit by the anchoring Damavix at the moment. In, in general, this might be some nice information for Gila pilots who are not like running this a lot. When you, when you have rats that can scram or um, web, these rats are switching to your drones eventually. If the rat can only do damage, it will most likely never switch to your drones. There's some situations where they still do, but in general, if you want to kind of make sure your drones don't have to be pulled too much, you want to kill whatever hurts your drones first, obviously, or what most likely is going to um, hurt your drones. Now, I will have to pick up my, my infiltrators after this guy here goes down and get my second flight out. This is a tier 5 electrical max chaos in a sub 400 million gila just to verify if this actually really works so far the answer is yes and i'm still struggling to imagine a scenario which is gonna kill this ship i believe it's gonna be a tyrannos battleship together with webers and neuters in high numbers it's the only thing i can imagine right now after the experience i just had with the first um, five to six sites. And we're going to run 100 sites in total to confirm if this works or not. Obviously not today, but uh, we can do this once, once every week, maybe Mondays, instead of the long finger content. A little bit more shaky things, but uh, that would be really cool. You want to have max skills though for whatever you run on this ship, obviously. I wouldn't... You know, uh, this is only number six I run here, Powder Sniff. I wouldn't have this general approach there. It's probably only possible with electricals and maybe... Maybe uh, exotics. It's definitely not going to work for gammas or uh, firestorms, I'm fairly certain. Implants, I only use a 2% what? Speed. 2% afterburner implant to give me a bit more speed. That's all there is. I could probably add a capacitor plus 2 or 3% as well to make this a bit safer when there's a lot of nuding going on. Alright, let's get the loot while killing the uh, last guy. So this stage is also sub 5 minutes, not too bad. Although 3 Galavian stages usually are pretty quick anyways. The loot is crap, unfortunately. Let's go. Oh, Supasek is here. Supasek is a streamer as well, guys. Drop that follow, check his channel. Do we have other streamers here than Supasek? Fonsui does stream once in a while. Drop the follow there. Um, Probably missing a few. Azarkanis is streaming as well. Alright, drop that follow. Didn't know that, Azarkanis. How long are you streaming? Well, are you streaming EVE? Otherwise, I would probably not know you're streaming. I pretty much live in the EVE directory, even if I watch streams. Most of the time, it's uh, Eve. Okay, this is a boring stage. Uh, there's no way these are gonna kill me. Um. Oh, whoa, blast lands though. Mm. It's gonna hurt, maybe. It could hurt, but we'll see. Let's just kill them before they kill us, right? Oh, you started past week. Cheers. Welcome to Eve, uh, Azarkanus. Oh, uh, what kind of tower is this? Medium range. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. The fog casters are reducing my range for the missiles. That's why I'm not launching them yet. I'm running... Oh, 37 kilometers is still good. So let's get started. You're streaming pretty late. Okay. There is only a 2% afterburner implant in Jetnet to give me 2% more afterburner push something. But I don't think it's relevant. I think I, I would have been better off to use a capacitor implant there instead. To get get a bit more like capacitor stability when there's a shit ton of neuters but again this this fit requires you to 
overheat and it requires you in uh, in the most um, like harsh situations to use your uh, blue pill, the strong one, and uh, a hard shell, and then you are going to pull it off with heat. That's kind of my my assumption right now. Well, it worked so far, right? Alrighty. And thanks everybody for hanging out on this uh, early afternoon, kind of. Which is... Actually, I hated the fact that daylight savings was changed uh, the way it was this time. So we went from 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. in the morning. And we were just working on getting the uh, little ones a bit earlier into the into the bed and have them sleeping at 8 p.m., right? So <laughs> now we, we have to work work on it again. They're currently at 9 p.m. because they don't give a shit of D about DST, right? <laughs> so shit happens. Cheers, uh, Azur, uh, Max Canis. Uh, Max Canis, Max Canis. <laughs> So, uh, Azure Kennys has done mostly high tier BIS stuff and some PvP mixed in. Cool. You run tier 4s in Firestorms and tier 5 exotics. Yeah, you want to upgrade slowly, right? Don't just dive into tier 5 right away, and especially Firestorms, I would say, are the most dangerous ones in, in, in overall. Because everything has more HP, pretty much. And you have a weak thermal resistance there thanks to the weather so triglavians basically have a field day on you right hello boratakos good afternoon okay this stage is done i did not really pilot very well so i kind of waste 30 seconds here could have opened that loot a bit earlier whoa it wasn't even worth it oh man definitely not in here for for loot right Uh, Fonsui did not... Did you did you create that fit yet, Fonsui? I was asking for... How about capacitor stability, Fonsui? I mean, I I'm certain Fonsui can make this even better. Amor, greetings, good afternoon. With better efficiency, dang. Do I have to worry about my cap? Can I not have it turned on all the time? Whoa, this is boring. We got another set of uh, small things to kill. How is my drones looking like? Oh, they're still fine. So I'm killing the Weber first. That gives me a bit more freedom to kind of kite these a little. It's fascinating. You wouldn't expect it, but you can actually kite these for quite a bit before they start hitting. Actually, I believe with 700 meters a second, you can kite these indefinitely. Um, they will come close, but at some point they, they will not, or for some reason, will probably turn off their micro warp drive if they have one. And uh, they will they will just not get close enough to really hit you hard. I'm not sure if Fonsu is finished with the fit yet. He's trying. He's trying. It's just weird I didn't try to to pull this off before, because it's kind of obvious now that it works, that this can work, apparently. You take care as well, Azurcanis. See ya next time, or later. Well, the music is super low. Why is that? Some of you are now... Wait, there's music? <laughs> there was, the whole time. This was probably just me who could hear it, right? So, uh, Fonsu, as I said, I don't want to be slower. I do not want to have less tank. And I do not want to have um, much less DPS. And I don't want to have much less cap stability, <laughs> kind of. I mean, Fonsu, can you imagine how the, how good this is going to be once the shield rebalance is done? This is the way you're going to run cheap tier 5 uh, electricals. 
exclamation mark fit Coco. Are the shield boosters faction? No, it's just tech to win ones. Uh, or and they are going to be what? What did you say, Fonso? Eight point something percent better once the shield rebalance is done. So the, these things are going to be monsters. There is going to be a shield rebalance. Uh, it's already on Sizzy. I'm not sure if Sizzy is online, but Hobo Leaks already uh, showed some numbers. And uh, if if they're going to happen, it's going to be really cool. Oh man, shit loot again. Dang. All right. I wouldn't say rip armor or really. And Sh shield may have been a, li a little bit behind for quite some time. Okay, are we done? Origin gate. Wow, look at this. I have, what, 7 minutes and 48 seconds left. <laughs> okay, it was it was two frigate stages. Or three? I don't remember. I don't remember what happened in the first stage. Okay, that was tier 5 number 6. The ship is still alive. And so far, I haven't downgraded anything. I did upgrade it a little bit throughout the process so first I thought like mm, let's just use a compact battery but then after getting a capacitor penalty or worrying about a capacitor uh, capacity penalty from the booster I was like now nah, maybe it's worth it to uh, to use the Republic fleet and then what else did I do well I got a strong blue pill instead of just a uh, a standard one that is I did, oh, totally went, went to the wrong safe spot again. Dang, I, I don't need two of these, right? Alright, so that was number six. Let's do number seven. And after that, I think we are, we are ready for another container of skins to be given away. How about that? So, remind me. Oh, shit, what's my booster? Okay, I'll have to buy some new boosters now. And we want to summarize the loot I got with the last six runs. The invest was 130 mil in filaments. Because they are expensive. Exclamation mark DPS. Uh, Ingrimsh. So can this fit be pimped to negate having to over... Yeah, sure. I mean, Chetnet. You can just put C-type invulns here and then it's going to be a walk in the park. You can... If you put C-type invulns here, you can probably skip the damage control and add a third drone damage amplifier, and then, well, that's pretty much it. It's going to be a walk in the park. Well, if you know how to operate this ship and uh, the Abyss. The Abyss is dangerous, even if you're, like, super blinged. If you encounter one of these death spawns and you don't know exactly how to run that, it's going to be your end. All right, I got 32 mil. Okay. So how much loot in total? What is a Leshak blueprint? Let's find that quickly. Leshak blueprint's cheapest is 20, oh no, 27 with buyout. 27 mil plus, I, I believe the Rodivas are not worth a dime, so 27 mil plus 340. Let's make that uh, 360 mil minus 130, that's 240, uh, 230, 230 mil plus. Uh, I am at the moment, no wait, I didn't calculate the, like, the boosters. Uh, I guess like 200 mil, I need to make another 100 and, no, yeah, another 180 to make this ship kind of back. Let's see if that works. And good morning, fat flock. I do need a filament and boosters. I have enough pace. I didn't heat with the last two ones, actually. Pretty cool. And a new filament as well. Now they're 22 mil. Dang. <laughs> Somebody just bought these, right? Um, a strong blue pill, that is. Plus a hard shell. 
that gives me 35 additional tank in total 35 percent it's pretty good <laughs> cheers quartz oh where was i this one and this let's go repairs are already done i believe yep oh wait did i no oh implant oh not implant filament we need The Gila survives often with poorly considered numbers. I mean, if Erst can do it, Fonsui, everybody can, right? I'm not good at this game. And I'm slow, and I click everything, right? Not because I have to, just because I want you <laughs> to see what I'm doing, right? Off stream, most of the time I, I uh, run the uh, Firestorm Gila, the long finger, almost 100% without without mouse, except for double clicking in space. That is, the skin makes me win, right? Oh, talking about ships in the abyss, we have this f uh, format called Will It Blend, where I run hilarious fits. And you guys uh, guess what tier this is going to survive. Starting a new kind of um, version of it, we will do A to C or A to Z. So all the letters in the alphabet will be covered. We will just pick one or two or three ships for a specific letter and run them in the abyss. Not because I want or because it's good, just because I have to. And we found out that the Cinnabol is kind of a monster uh, with the uh, last episode of that one. It's going to be on YouTube within this week. The uh, first episode with, what was that, Ogor? Navy Ogor and Bellicose is already up. I never had closer fights in the Abyss than with these two ships. You want to you wanna check that out. Seriously, uh, it has a table of contents, so just go go over to YouTube and check that one. You can click, you know, the fights and can jump in right into the action that is going to matter to you so you don't waste time. I promise you it's going to be fun. I believe I can say that. Commander Cunfluff asking, have you decided if the Gila comes uh, in a G or H? I should call it Gila. I know. Gila is correct according to even CCP, right? Hulk is after the symbol. It has to be a cruiser. I'm not sure. Can I put in the Hulk? I'm not sure about that. It was not a nuding symbol. Uh, Marvin. Yila. What the hell is that? Or Wyla. Neymar. Okay, let's go in. I'm wasting time here. We want to kind of take this booster with us a little bit longer. Oh, six minutes. That should be one stage at least. Well, it shouldn't be much less than that. <laughs> So it's the Gila monster this ship was named after. And this is... I think I haven't had this kind of... Well, I had something similar. So we got some dissipators I think I want to get rid of first. And then I will actually use my faction drones for better tracking. Once these things are in range, it's going to hurt a bit. Especially Aegis, I believe. There's only one Lancer. So in total, the total damage dealt by these is not going to be hilarious so I don't really worry about anything so let's just go to the loot it doesn't doesn't really matter anymore the, the ships are supposed to be pronounced I believe in in the way like in, in Icelandic like Dregur or um, what's the other one that sounds hilarious if you try to pull it off in Icelandic right Ah, uh, shit, what's the other one called? I don't remember. <laughs> I think it, it was the it was the, the Tech 2 Kikimura, wasn't it? You do that one more time, well, how's the, what's the name of the, the Tech 2 Kikimura? Rise again, thanks for the follow, welcome to the channel. So as expected, I'm kind of getting a beating here, because these things are hitting me perfectly. But it is not as harsh as, uh, you know, it could possibly be. Oh, uh, it is the Dregur, the uh, the Kikimura Tech 2 thingy thing. What's the Tech 2 
Oh, the, oh no, the Nurgle. How is the Nurgle pronounced in Icelandic? I don't know. Can we have a Gila monster emote? Nah, oh, dang. That would probably solve a lot of discussions though, right? Basically everything that has a an L in it sounds ridiculous in Icelandic. <laughs> Alright then. Oh my gosh. How, how do you pr pronounce a Leviathan then? I mean, it's content, Amar. Talking about this is, is, is content, right? We can argue about names of ships. Oh shit, I want to go for the loot. Wait, what? No. I just pronounced it right. What, the Leviathan? Uh, well, lucky me, right? I'm not even English native there. So, another lucky guess. Dang. Okay, this is a super chill stage. You you see me not even paying attention, and this is kind of weird, right? Running tier five abyssals and not really paying attention in a four hundred million ship. <laughs> this is too easy. And again, wait for the shield rebalance. After that, this is going to be even more potent. I love that. This is so cool. No, I'm not planning to run that uh, ship, Mormon. Sub cap for me, probably forever. Because for anything bigger, I have to, you know, join some kind of corporation which lives somewhere in Null, and then I have to follow someone else's rules, and I just don't want that. Period. Uh, basically, invulnerabilities are going to be buffed mainly, or that's the, the relevant bit for me at least, Driss. You can go over to hoboleaks.net, uh, I believe it was, and check it in detail yourself. Fonso is already theory crafting upcoming you fits with, with time, this, right? Throw you the room. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, wasteful living. Welcome to the channel. Oh, uh, the timer is still, still okay. We are four minutes in. Guess we will jump with five minutes left. Uh, five minutes in, in just a moment. You do that one more time, and oh. I'm gonna throw you across the uh, room. Chomper, LOL. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> so the Tech 2 Omni Hardeners are going for from 30% to 32.5%, and that's an increase of effectiveness uh, by 8.3%. That's a lot. Exclamation mark DPS Severin. It's reading uh, the uh, combat log, so the file on your hard disk, or SSD for that matter. So it is it's not kind of tapping into the client or something, so you won't get banned. A lot of streamers are using it uh, these days already. And it's, it, it makes, you know, it's pretty. Oh, just realized there's some kind of weird overlay in the whoa now that the song that is running has some hiccups okay let's just wait for it to go away by on its own oh dang yeah, it's about the the increase in effectiveness dress that burger is going to be a tasty i'm going to get a tasty two and a half percent let's just say this is the spice for the burger the two and a half percent that gets added Clip of Earth making noises? Wait, what? Why would you do that? Oh, shit. What is... That's the wrong window. All right. Oh, yeah. Hmm. That, that, that was a dangerous situation. Oh, shit. Talking about dangerous situations. Ooh, guys. Ooh. This is gonna suck. That is a shit ton of neuters. Um, and that's a lot of Triglavian uh, frigates. I'm worried. Well, I sh technically should have enough DPS, but still, this looks bad. Let's be... Oh, man, I did not even... Oh, my gosh. My my shield boosters were running the whole time, uh, even though I didn't need it with the previous stage, right? So I was sucking up my cap pretty hard. I'm going to uh, heat my hardeners here, and I'm going to totally focus now on what's happening here. I think I can run one without any issues. 
I just hope I can chew through this starving frigates quick enough before they catch reps because that would be really bad otherwise there is another cruiser is there oh no that's just all frigates mm. hope my drones can hit this quickly it appears to be working I will probably have to pull my drones in a moment oh wait hoo -hoo, my booster is gone that's why didn't jettison it this time I did get a capacitor capacity penalty mm. <laughs> okay it's not the best of uh things that could have happened here but oh well let's just kill the the starbers quickly shall we sorry i'm focused right now oh let's give it one more cycle here i don't want to heat my boosters this is really gonna hurt my my heat management overall so i'm not but i think uh the worst is is already over yeah totally so there's only one one starving uh guy still up and uh, let's remove some more triglavians to have a bit more of a chill time now uh, i don't think i'm stable now with this penalty let's have a look am i oh i'm even stable with a penalty that's beautiful all right then let's turn off the heat i don't think i need this anymore my drones are tanking just fine that's okay they are armor tanks i will switch them in a moment it wasn't even that sketchy pepkern i wasn't I wasn't too worried there I feel like the fit lift comfortably even. <laughs> What's my stability here without the ca uh, with the cap penalty I still am 7.7 .7 gigajoules stable. This is really good. Now let's use some faction drones and I believe I can start repping things which is going to be important for the last stage. So afterburner and one of the boosters can be repped, probably the passives as well. Did hurt that one and that one a bit. Oh, uh, let's get the Damavix out of the mix. Oh shit, there was one ghosting. I only see that now. Shouldn't have left that one for lost, right? Oh well, so be it. Trace got six starving Leshaks yesterday with his Nurgles, and you managed to survive that. The thing is, the Nurgles are super fast, so you're you're on top of these starving Leshaks so quick, and then you just burn them. Like there's no tomorrow. They don't have a lot of health, and they just go down. Like, uh, I don't know, two cycles of, of the Nurgles and, and one of them is down? Pretty much it, or am I wrong there? Okay, now the shield booster here has been fixed. Spark needles are kind of annoying a little bit. But we can re repair this booster now here. There we go. Oh, there's a tower killing off the uh, spark needles. Nice. Goodbye. Okay, then we can even fix the resists. Now we have 10 minutes left for the last stage, which is super comfortable. Like that very much. All right, there we go. Reload here. Repairs on this one. That one is being repaired. It just doesn't look like it. Sometimes there's a visual glitch. Let's kill the loot. Come on. They disabling your weapon ramp up? Wait, what? What do you mean? Oh, you, because you have to switch target, right? All right, one more station. That was what filament number seven now, right? Ship is still alive. Dang, I love this. Oh, let's save up on cap. We learned that just now. That this could be really helpful. Oh, uh, Gravity Bone Gaming. This one here is not really about ISK per hour. It's about can you pull it off? Um, normally when I run Tier 5 Firestorms with a Longfinger uh, setup, I still get like 220, 250-ish per hour or something. Oh, this is boring. We just had that more or less. I oh, know it's not exactly the same. It's just a lot of small crap. Um, Yeah, let's just kill them. Hey, Strawman, good afternoon. How are you doing? Triglavian weapons are using cap. Ah, yeah, shit. If you're the one getting muted, you, you're not doing damage. But usually this... Are you jumping at the same time there with all of them? Or are you kind of delaying two of them? Because that way you can kind of, you know, 
control a little which ones are, are being muted first. We are involved. Thanks, Nando, for taking care of Erst here. I risk taking a lot of damage here, by the way, because I'm not focusing on the uh, snare costers right now. Probably not very clever, but I feel like this, this is a monster here. Really good chip. I didn't expect it. It's really good, though. And Fonso is going to make it even better. Dang. We can win the Abyss with 400 million isk. <laughs> and who remembers what's going to happen after this one here? Any clues? You can probably hear a vacuum cleaner in the background. <laughs> Hello, Nick Pa. Good afternoon. Oh, Olaf, cheers. Man, Olaf. Always on point, right? We will give away another bundle of skins worth, or estimated at 500 million. Um, isk. Just in a moment. And we are going to trigger Driss again, because we can. Don't need a specific reason, it's just that I can. M maybe Quartz, I don't know. You know, sometimes it also helps to calm the babies, right? Although we have we have an iPad for that with white noise, and especially the uh, the bigger baby, I call her the bigger one because she's just bigger in all aspects. She is extremely susceptible to that, so you can turn that on, and she will be knocked out within seconds. That's unbelievable. The little one, she doesn't give a shit. Uh, maybe. Well, she does not react at all. It's hilarious how different they are. No worries, Nikpa. Vacuum is better than crying noises, right? Cheers, Roadrunner. Hello. How's it going? The little ones are not gamers yet, but uh, they have a... They have an account. Both... Well, I have one account and I'm training two characters on there with multiple pilot training certificates. So once they are old enough... We have two EVE pilots. Or I have two accounts I can keep myself. We'll see. Both girls. Quartz. Indeed. Oh, wait. Oh, why am I pulling my drones? Not even done here. What the hell? Not focusing. Any this is hilarious. I'm not focusing at all, guys. Most of the time, I'm just chatting in a 400 million ship. <laughs> in a tier 5. This is too good. And I can just keep that stuff running most of the time without really caring too much. Oh man. No, no, they are not identical, wasteful. Absolutely not. And not uh well, they are not identical and they are totally different. <laughs> this is not the long finger built, uh Nick Paw. Mercury Trooper uses a hairdryer to calm the baby, alright. Did I not pick did I forget to pick up the loot? Don't tell me I forgot to pick up the loot. I'm pretty sure I picked it up, because I have three stacks of these. Uh, they can only come from three different containers, so there's that. Got the loot, and it is 33 million. Minus the 22 I paid to enter this site, I made 11 million. Which is not good. You have to buy one of them a scramble bike. What the hell is a scramble bike? Uh, quartz. Don't know that. I forgot two crates at the last entrance. Ah, you mean the, the other boxes? Yeah, I'm not going for these, uh, Redless. It's not, the fit here is not made to go for extraction notes. They are not having that much loot, and uh, this would add so much time to running the site. It's totally not worth it. You'd rather run a new one and make more ISK with this fit. There's different fits which kind of take that into account. But this one here is supposed to be super cheap. That's a tier 5 Severin. We are... This was tier 5 number 7, right? Yep. The ship is still alive. But this time I got a capacitor capacity penalty. Do not feel especially threatened though, kind of. We need 400 tier 5 Firestorm Runner. I'm uh, not sure if Future Dark. Probably not gonna happen. 400 mil.
Somehow DT125, 175s are kind of popular in Switzerland. Ah, oh, you, you're talking uh, motorbikes, okay. Uh, I never, well, I run the, the normal ones, well, you know, the 40 kilometer per hour ones, but not really bikes. It's not a command, Seth. It's not a, we, we have a, no, I'm not going to say that. I'll just wait for the person to be here before I say that. Um, Where was I? It is max skills, Nick Pa. I'm running here. But we we are going to do a uh, giveaway. Trace. Strap you do in. That one more time and I'm going to throw you across the room. Uh, Severian, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. And uh, yeah, it's going to be another giveaway for a box of skins. Yay! You! <laughs> okay. Trace. <laughs> Just the way it works, Trace. Deal with it. The lady will be tomorrow. No, tomorrow I will do grocery shopping. I'm not sure how, uh, if I will be uh, streaming. We'll see. There's the raffle. Exclamation mark raffle to join. A box of skins estimated at 500 million esque. Best of luck. It's a celebrate uh, 11 million return on investment. You know, we haven't taken into account the booster I ate. That one was... Around 20 mil, Nick Pa. <laughs> yeah, so there's that. Coco asking, are Firestorms worth more? Also, the fit page doesn't work well on mobile. Yeah, that one is not really optimized for mobile. That's true. It's more meant for, you know, um, running it on your computer, control, copy that fit from there and put it in your game. That's most the intention. And uh, Firestorms are worth more because uh, instead of paying... 22 mil for a filament uh, it's gonna cost you let me check I'm checking market prices right now two and a half million for a firestorm filament so just running firestorms instead of electricals is gonna cost you like 19 and a half million less therefore that's basically what you win um, automatically it's gonna take a bit longer. Your ship needs to be a bit stronger, obviously, for the firestorms. But it's uh, it's a good thing. Let's draw. Who wins the box of skins? Best of luck, everybody. And there we go. It is a Dumble. Congrats, Dumble. What is your in-game name? The skin tune is logging in right now. Let's switch over here. Loot boxes should be visible in a moment. Or, well, the loot I'm talking about. Uh, this one. 503 million estimated. We got some cold iron skins in here. The Nestor, Vectoral Shift, Tunisius, Violet, something. Skin. Serpentis skins all part of this and some big ships actually with the uh, glacial drifts so Dumble is a Kami Sinis what's with the toilet paper there nameless zero those are nice skins and the glacial drifts are still increasing in price since they haven't been dropped again ah uh, when was that it was I believe October 2018 or November when when they dropped with the winter event where you went into that planet atmosphere thingy thing you know i was hacking a lot i had like i had up to a thousand of these in total but now i'm starting to run low kind of <laughs> we have a few more boxes left though all right that's it let's try this again i think i want to do one more tier 5 that is number 8 and then we will do one one more really good giveaway for everybody to join in and uh, I always want more skins quartz who would I be if I wouldn't want to have more skins so my booster still runs uh, I need to do another tier 5 and after that we will do an, one more giveaway do I I think I have a nice ship as well we'll see or a collection of ships but I need a Electrical chaotic filament again. Uh, 22 mil still. 
Did CCP just send FanFest Redemption codes? Oh, yeah. Good point. Dang. Uh, what, what skin... What skins are in, guys? Oof. We need to pull them up on screen, right? I, I didn't have, you know, a ticket. I kind of wanted to go to FanFest, but then the twins arrived and... A lot of factors made it so uh, I couldn't just go away for a couple of days. Twins are kind of harsh to, you know, take care of. As a single person only, I don't want to have my wife, you know, go through this, so... I did not book for for the fan fest. In retrospect perspective, well, I save, saved quite some money because a couple of you guys are still fighting to get you uh, time, your money I'm back, right? You the for the cancelled flights and, and hotels and whatnot. Scribble, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. But I hear there's going to be quite some streaming going on instead of uh, fan fest. It's not going to be the same, obviously, but still. We we will we will get some cool cool content. Doc Grandioso says in Dark Filaments drones get speed boost. Uh, the drones get also speed boost, and uh, they're tracking. They they don't like that. The range is reduced, um, so they they hardly track. If you want to run dark sites with drones, you will have to add a lot of guidance computers and and web the shit out of things. And uh, I believe Andy Virus does that successfully but i'm not sure if it's a fun ex or a good experience if you just want to farm like chill okay this is tier 5 number 8 in the sub 400 million gila let's do it All right, what's gonna hit Erst's vessel this time? Oh, we haven't had this stage yet. Uh, where are they? Down there, okay. Is there any, no, there's no Webers. That's actually good. Um, th the thing I'm wondering here is, oh, I forgot to turn on my afterburner. The thing I'm wondering here is uh, how long it's gonna take me to complete this stage because of the battleship. The battleship has a shit ton of EHP is not fun at all. Uh, next up I need to kill the spotlighter so the battleship is not uh, hitting me hard once I get a bit closer. Last fog caster. Uh, this is a medium tower. Alright. Now the spotlighters. After that the spark needles and then the logistics ships. Do doesn't really matter to kill the logistics. Uh, while you're killing other frigates, they go down pretty much instantly. They will not catch any reps, so no worry about that. Kin, good day. How's it going? Are you done with work today? Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was dumb. The Abyssal Overmind actually has a web, although I wonder. Let's just hog him as close as possible. Maybe he, he won't be able to, to hit us at all. We'll see. Once the logistics guy is down, I need to change drones now to tech twos to hit as hard as it gets. Yeah, I'm uh, the guy is kind of kiting me here, so yeah, I wanna wanna get out of his his um webbing influence there. Not good. Let's just, I think it webs at 13 or something, so let's stay at 15 or whatnot. We should not be webbed anymore, or maybe, is it, is it webbing at, I'm not sure. Seems to be webbing at 17, oh no, 17 is gone. All right, so we'll stay at 18, 19 kilometers. Took a while, so I guess it's not very uh, good per, uh, per hour. No, what I'm doing here is just purely about proving that you can run these with uh, fits that are super cheap. Um, if you want to farm these, you have a boat that is blinked to oblivion, talking 3, three billion is plus. This one is a bit less than 400 million, so it obviously can't be as effective. Efficient is the word I was uh, looking for. Oh, sorry, what uh, you wrote about earlier. 
Ah, you run seven exotic tier four filaments and you got about 300 million. Seven exotic tier fours. How much is an exotic tier four? Uh, how, do, how much does that cost, the filament? I think I want to go back to the loot. Oh, my missile. Oh, shit. That turn, though, was not very clever. First. Okay, it didn't hit me hard the second time. But that was dumb. What I just hit was dumb because my angular velocity became virtually zero and the guy just hit me in the face. Took me like 40% shield right there. So these are dangerous. You don't want to mess with them. But now I probably have good angular until I even reach the loot, so... Good. And my range here is 42 kilometers with these missiles, so... I can still run them. I'm just trying to be at the gate once this guy dies and, you know, be done with the loot. And now I will stop the missiles for a sec. 3 to 6 million. I would say that's that's okay, super sec, for tier 4s. That's a that's a good pay. Did you have any expensive skill books in that? Uh, in this loot? If not, it's a real good pay. So, was there a specialization skill book or not? 26 mil. Oh wow, we got the filament back. Nice. Now, should I go back into range? Yeah, I think I want to go back into range there. How ah, though? Nah, I probably have to. To help a little with DPS. So let's do that. Dix has a question that has been bothering him for quite a while. Uh, if an NPC only shoots, say, a thermal, do you even need resists for anything else? Nope, you don't. If something shoots you with a specific damage type only, the other damage types or resists are completely irrelevant. But in the Abyss, especially, you know, there's a lot of different kinds of, or all kinds of damage type uh, happening. So you want to have a balanced um, profile, or if you're an armor rep, you might even want to run a reactive hardener. I'm really a big fan of reactive hardeners. Okay, this is a really long stage, 5 minutes and 15 seconds. But 5 minutes and 15 seconds is kind of the longest we had today, but... It's not really that long if you think about it. As long as you are below 6 minutes and 40 seconds, everything is fine. The 3 frigate loot is different from the single cruiser. You get triple the loot, Scribble. It's going to be 3 rolls. Basically, it's going to roll 3 bio-adaptive cache loots and put them in one cache. That's how, uh, how that works. Let's jump. You want to have a reactive hardener for shields? That would be overpowered, Father Tech. Holy crap. And you want to have some, like, difference between the diff you know, the, the different kinds of tanks, right? I really like the fact, as well, that shield, right, is kind of powerful in terms of, oh shit, I have to get a lot of health back right now. Because it, it kicks in right when you click that module. As uh, opposed, or as in, in contrast to the armor rep, which only ticks at the end of the cycle. <laughs> Driss, you had you had to do this, Driss, didn't you? No Utanas in the house, guys. Drop a follow. He is a streamer as well. Does Eve once in a while. These days he runs all kinds of things. How's how's it going? Long time no see, no Utanas. I hope you are you're safe. As in home, as much as possible, right? Okay, this is a chill stage. There is not really anything going to happen here. Um, so we, we kill things and, and talk about things. Using my faction drone uh, set up again to, you know, have tracking. Hello, Gazomnik. Old Maker, greetings to you. And welcome. Nobu Tadas and his wife are quarantined. He's in a hot spot in the US. Dang. Well, all the best. I have to go buy grocery tomorrow. I, w I wonder how it's going to be. Last Tuesday was absolutely unexpected. I've never seen that low amount of people in the store I usually go and buy stuff. There was 
less than f uh, less than 50 people in that store. I know that because there was a lady at the entrance with an iPad and every time somebody entered, it, she tapped it and I saw the big black number on that display and it was 40 something. <laughs> And it, there was no queue. People actually didn't queue there and wait to get in. There was just no people, almost. The parking slots were like 90% empty. That's somehow scary. I mean, I, I appreciate the fact that nobody was there, but it was scary, obviously, right? The time... I, I went the exact time I, I usually go to the store and then there is probably 10% of parking spots taken. Uh, sorry, still still available, and now it was just 10 taken uh, percent, that is. So that's really a huge difference. A lot of people are taking this serious now, um, which is good. Helps us slowing down the whole crap. So uh, the health infrastructure can cope. Yeah, I just wonder how long this is going to you know, be uh, this way. Some some say it's actually going to take m many months before we return to normality, even if that is going to be like it was before. Personally, I, it would not really surprise me if we walk around with masks for the coming years, because we are just afraid, and once the supply is back again, uh, everybody will probably wear that one, right? And masks work, but only if everybody wears them. That is especially including those who are sick, because then it has the biggest effect, obviously. But if you are healthy, it does not help you a lot if you're faced with a sick person. Oh, this is... Oh, no, wait, there's no battleship, but that's four neuters. Uh, therefore... Is there any... There's actually no cruiser which really likes drones very much, except the Lancers will switch once in a while, so I'm fine. Can I get, can you get your dancing video guy a mask? No. <laughs> I mean, I can try to find one. Uh, I think I can just ignore the dissipators uh, pretty much, even though I have a capacitor penalty right now. Yeah, let's just... Well, I'm gonna kill them, but not really worry about heating anything. Should be fine. So in Austria, you have to wear a mask to enter a supermarket. And they are providing them? I mean, that would be cool, right? Martin thinks it will last uh, at least... Uh, or more, one more year. Yeah, I, I have a feeling... You know, I'm not an expert, but... At the end of the day, as long as we are not immune to this crap one way or another, even either having it or, or there's some kind of vaccination, there's a good chance you can get it if there is this crap around. And it's probably a hard thing to pull off to get it, you know, completely eradicated. So, yeah, we better get used to it. Play more games, right? At least it isn't Ebola, yeah. Ebola had like a 50% or 40% death like rate. But wasn't the... Uh, how contagious was that, Father Tech? Was that spreadable by air drop or air droplets? Like, you know, when somebody coughs? Or was it just blood or a really close contact? I. Ebola was before my time. I think that was in the in the eighties or something, right? Like the big, uh, the big one. I'm not sure. Ebola is just blood. Okay, it's it's less likely you're changing, you know, exchanging blood in in a supermarket with some other um, shopper. That would be awkward in in many ways. Oh, I was about to make a really bad joke. I'm not gonna do that. Man, my mind is so bad at times, I tell you. Oh, man, Trace got the joke, right? You gotta be kidding me, really? <laughs> <laughs> Corona merging with Ebola will be a thing of nightmares, oh my gosh.
I'm not sure how to say this. I, I'm gonna say I'll say this way, but you can say it in another way. On a positive note, uh, the planet is having a good time right now. As in every everything other than humans is having a good time right now. But yeah, as I said before, uh, the, the thing that I hate most is the fact that uh, my, my parents cannot visit us right now and, uh, you know, see the, the little ones grow up. This is really shitty. And I mean, technically, my parents, you know, they can still do that. They could hop into their car and drive for, I don't know, 45 minutes and be here. So my parents could do that if they wanted, but they are not doing it because government said, hey guys, you know, get your shit together, stay home, don't mingle. But uh, the parents of my mother, they're living in on the other you know, side of the world. They have no way of of coming here or we going there. Zero. Impossible. You just can't. Yeah, video link is, is all we got, Quartz, but it's not the same, you know, holding a baby and, and uh, watching one through Skype. I can tell you from experience, it is not the same thing. <laughs> Chris Kribble asking, if you enter an Abyssal uh, as Solo Frigate, does it activate the three-player Frigate version? Yes, it does, Kribble. If you use three filaments, you have to use always three filaments to open up the Frigate Abyss. It doesn't matter how many pilots you put in to kill this stuff afterwards, it will always get triple the loot and the same spawns. The shit is gonna hit the same fan or defend in the same manner as uh, you bring more people with you exclamation mark fit is how you get this fitting and I'm uh, it's not it's not like optimal yet Fonsu is still working on it <laughs> as I understand but it's just survived the eighth electrical um, tier 5 and I'm fairly impressed this is pretty cool there was some sketchy moments but uh, we had the tools to mitigate I even had the time to jettison my blue pill before consuming you it. You do that one more time and I'm gonna throw so, you across the room. It's pretty, it's pretty good. The Duke, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Oh, wing, wing not cross in the house, guys. Drop that follow. Wing not cross another EVE streamer. Uh, solo PvP, mostly. He, he is whelping his shit in the most hilarious ways. And he, oh boy, he is using words Erst would, would never even remotely think of saying on stream, right? <laughs> uh, where's asking why the reduced bitrate? So, two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago or something, there was some some issues where uh, a big Swiss provider said, oh, we have a little bit of an issue here with some capacity. Uh, and I thought, you know, the way I can contribute is not run the full bitrate so I do not especially uh, throughout the week do not kind of use uh, the bandwidth um, too much and it's also kind of obviously not giving you more bandwidth so I went from six megabits to four and a half megabits and uh, you guys watching you can't watch in six megabits because it's simply not there so we are together saving 20 for 25 percent well 25 percent bandwidth with this stream compared to uh, others still running six megabits a second. I'm not saying you shouldn't do that. It's just a way I feel like I could contribute. It may be a drop on a hot stone. I'm not sure if this is a saying in, in English, but that's what I'm trying to do. A ship with the requested attributes, disapprove of the requested attributes. Fonsui, it feels amazing right now. <laughs> Didn't die yet. The affordable attribute. I think we have to work on this a bit longer, everybody. So as it stands, Abyss tier 5, 0, Erst 8. Once that ship runs 100, we confirm this is definitely a thing. So far, so good, right? And we will do a giveaway now. Let's check what Erst has. Did I break even? I'm not sure. If I did break even, probably not yet. Let's see. So I got, uh, wait, 423. 
uh, I would say 450 in loot. Um, minus 8 times 22 mil, 450, let's call that 280 minus the blue pills, 230 mil. I believe I made like 230 mil plus. The ship is 380, so I think I will be even with 15 sites run or something. I'm even sure that if you run a 3.5 billion gila, it's going to take you 15 sites to be even. Pretty sure about that, actually. So it's not too bad. The raffle did not start yet because I'm still looking for what uh, it is going to be. One second. Um, guys, what's happening there? <laughs> All right. How about some ship giveaway? Okay. Okay. I'm missing the frigate, but it's going to be a, a, tr a trio. Not a Triglavian trio, but it's going to be three ships. We will have a um, Drakovac, Battlecruiser, a Kikimora, and an Estero. Oh, no, wait. Let's make let's make that uh, a cruiser giveaway. So you will get a Drakovac, a Gila, and a Stratius if you win this. And that's half a billion worth of shit. Best of luck, everybody. Drakovac, Stratius, and... Gila, the winner of this raffle, takes home, all located in Cheetah. Best of luck, everybody. Exclamation mark raffle now. Oh, it's not a skin, uh, Jis. It's not a skin, so we, we don't have the dancing guy. You need this? You've burned through all your Isk Wingnut Cross. How much Isk was that? <laughs> I've kind of burning through mine pretty quickly as well but i can still manage so go for it everybody um while you're doing this there's a couple of streams i uploaded to youtube from the past with table of contents uh with either educational or uh funny slash bot clenching moments check that out uh, exclamation mark youtube or yt there's a discord you're welcome just keep it civil in-game channel cold earth slug same rules that's that about the advertisement I got. Throw you across the room. A brick wall. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. And on YouTube, we recently broke the 500 subscriber yeah. mark. This is pretty hilarious. Um, thanks for that. And there's a lot of views. I don't know. Some some people are watching these videos. I, I don't really know why. It's, it's weird. You do that one more so time, Wingnut Cross lost three ships in a room. stream. Is anywhere from... Oh, wait. 499 mil. That's a lot of losses indeed. And you're losing this guaranteed right while with with me with my pve crapping it's usually like just a chance of losing it right man dale thanks for your follow age blad three uh, thanks as well and, and the raffle the room. is closed <laughs> somebody just cried <laughs> whoa that's a lot of follows now uh endless aggression coco thanks for your follow as well welcome to chan to the channel everybody and you gotta be kidding Dumble wins again. That's just wrong. Okay, so here's the deal. We will just do another one. Congrats, Dumble. The third one. I, I just hope you will not win the third one. But we'll see what happens there. Dumble gets the cruisers, and we will have one more giveaway after this. Oh, where are you, Dumble? What is your in game name? Because you just got these three beauties. Stratius, Dragovac, and Aguila. Again! Let's get that set up. One, two, three. Create contract. Dumble is a Kali Zenis. So that's how random works, right? I can totally not control this at all. And I, I don't I don't wanna uh, take on that responsibility, so it can happen, Kuzo. There is no rigging and that whoa goes very far and that that was loud nine months of no wait 23 months of support emotional thanks a lot for that welcome again to the sub club now let's do one more uh wait what do we throw in i have some ships still we will throw in another dracovac uh kikimora and yeah and estero kind of like what i wanted in the first place dracovac kikimora estero one more giveaway resetting the winner a raffle and here we go best of luck let's try this again that was too loud wasn't it why is this always 
loud. Oh, I think I just figured out why. Okay, should be better next time. Got you covered. Okay, after this, where do we go? There's a most likely a lot of other EVE streamers on right now. Oh! Yeah, I think I know where to, to hop. There's a chill stream going on with uh, somebody who was here before. Yeah, we will check this out. You do that one more time and I'm gonna throw you across the room. If next time your subwoofer bottoms is out again, oh my god. Spirit, your subwoofer exploded. <laughs> wait, wait, Wing Not Cross is about to stream. So, g get your stream up, but uh, w what do you mean about to? G get it up now, Wing Not. Because I, I really need to check what these babies are crying about. Emotional Reserve has watched enough Star Trek to know uh, the facial hair means I'm an evil twin. <laughs> Yeah, I know I was lazy. I didn't uh didn't really spend time to to shave. I'm even considering not to shave at all until this corona crap is over, but ah, that probably is going to be an issue. I would need a bigger camera to co to cover the whole beard. That was a bad joke. Um let's go. Where, where oh, I'm looking for my raffle panel thing. Did I just close that one? Oh no, uh, sorry, I'm an idiot. Obviously. Closing the raffle. And here we draw. Th totally, Driss, you're gonna like Wingnut. That, that's for sure. Absolutely. I, I mean, we, we were... We were raiding him... When? A few days ago already. Let's do it again, though. Wingnut is life, he says. Seahorn is uh, the winner of the package. I was talking about Seahorn. Congrats. So you will get a Drekavac, a Kikimora, and an Astero. One, two, three. That's a bit less than half a bill, but oh well. <laughs> Seahorn has an in-game name called Rentag. Let's get that up, and here we go. I think... The amount of giveaways or the amount of shift given away here will be blown up by Wingnut just next up. So we are hopping onto Wingnut's stream in just a second. Let me see if he's up. Or well, you're welcome to to join the raid. You can obviously do whatever you want. Johnny UK is up, for example. Um, let me refresh that page. Wingnut Cross. Can I find him more? Twitch kind of preview pictures are so slow these days. That's unbelievable. I wonder why that is. Don't see Wingnut's stream yet, but I think I can probably do that manually. So let's see. Wingnut cross. Let's copy that. Oh my god, why is this opening up here? Oh, didn't want to do that. I'm so bad with these streaming things, guys. Seriously. Great channel. There we go. Wingnut cross. No results found. What? Seriously now? Are you sure? Are you streaming to Twitch Wingnut? Just make sure. <laughs> it says no results found. I'm bad. Seriously bad with this. Let's refresh. Oh, I probably can refresh my page. That should work. Rate. No results found. Dang. He is streaming to a dating site. <laughs> Who knows? He is online now? Okay, we will we will have to, to try again. Let's just refresh. Maybe Twitch is slow today, right? Yeah, I, I, I know his channel. I can just not... Oh, wait. Maybe the capital letter was the problem. Don't tell me it was the problem. Was it? Nope. In my raid widget, it says not found. Come on, Twitch. I don't know what to talk about right now. I could make silly jokes, but... Uh, not good at this. No results found. Seriously, now. What can we talk about, everybody? I'm copy-pasting Fonsui. I I would never type this manually. <laughs> you can we can beat the knot, right? We will just take a while. 
The thing is I can't enter it in my rating panel, emotional, because it's not showing me an option there having this, but I think as soon as he shows up in the uh, on the list, this is gonna work. Dang. Oh, there he is. Now he is on the list. Okay, maybe it works now. Let's see. Raid channel. Huh, <laughs> still doesn't work. What the hell? You, you think that is gonna work, Fonsui? How do I complete the raid? The How do I complete it when I do it like that? Oh, I got it now. Works. Okay. He blocked me? What? <laughs> he blocked me? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. It works now, though. Bot Saber, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Med Wizage, uh, thanks for your follow as well. And that's it from my side, guys. Thanks a lot for the uh, support today, uh, the bits, the subs, the follows, and hanging out. Thanks again for the raid from uh, Rune, who uh, did that. Uh, we had Jake3D uh, CCP hosted us as well. Thanks for that. Um, make sure to drop follow. Fonso is here still, sub, super sec, and uh, a few others. And I hope I will see you again soon. You guys take care. Fly safe and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.